Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. The world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here's a really rare one I caught in the honey trees that you won't be able to obtain for at least 20 hours of playtime. Do we name ourselves anything else here? I don't know. Just be Dad. Okay. Dad? <laughs> a fine name that is. Yes, Rowan, I am your father. <laughs> now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Let's see your friends, like it's just dad and son. What about dad and lad? I think that works, dad and lad. All right, dad, the time has come. <laughs> your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. <laughs> I feel like I'm being talked down to. It's like, okay, dad, you're finally gonna go out and do something with your life. It's finally time for you to leave the house. You've been here for like 40 years. On your journey, you're gonna finally meet people, dad. You're gonna have a good time. I'm sure that along the way you'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. <laughs> you fucking suck, Dad. Get out of the house. No one wants you here. Mom's taking the kids. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report. Search for the red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. Dad! <laughs> Lad came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Can I just leave? No, this guy's gonna stop us. Hiya, Dad. Lad was looking for you. <laughs> I think he's home now. Why don't you go check it out? We're gonna have a lot of children in this world. Oh, hey, Dad. We're going to the lake. We're waiting on the road. It's 10 million fine if you're late. Don't you talk back to your old man. I bought you a Nintendo Switch and I can take it away. Hey, you saw the news report that was on TV, right? You know, search of the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. That show got me to thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. That's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Oh, he... <laughs> Lad is like... Always behind you. Pesser, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Some something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Oh, they're leaving. Huh? Dad, let's go check this out. They left something. What's that? Don't go into tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a while Pokemon to come out. Oh no, lad. This is how we're gonna get in trouble. If your mom finds out about this, oh, there's gonna be hell to pay. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard him say professor. Oh, not the birds! Quickly, just go through his belongings. Pip Lop Gang, rise up. The best one. First battle is a vicious monster. Get him, Pip Lop. <laughs> just bop it in the face. Oh god, they, they, they haven't got like the dynamic camera or anything. This is just like... <laughs> They've tried to go for like the static camera of the DS games. It just looks kind of stiff, doesn't it? <laughs> like, alright, I guess it's nostalgic, but... I feel like it should move. Ah, oh, your Piplup totally rocked. My Turtwig was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon. We have to use them, those people won't mind, will they? Did, did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh. What's the professor going to say? This is so not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. Oh, there she goes. We're criminals now, Dad. Am I ever glad that both you and Lad are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sand Gem Town. I heard that he's well known for his studies in Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Dad, I think you need to visit him in Sand Gem Town. Oh, I know. Dad, put these on. Dad, you need to wear your shoes when you leave the home. You can't just come out and go out in your bare feet again. They won't let you back in the pub. Well, let's uh, let's get going. Oh. Oh God, you don't see the Pokemon in the overworld anymore as well. We only see them in the grass. Classic in every sense of the word. Word, I guess. But that's not always a good thing. Well, that's the first Bidoof of many. One of the strongest Pokemon in the game. <laughs> It's God. <laughs> I'm sorry, God, I don't want to have to defeat you in combat. 
I need the experience points, God. Please forgive me. God is dead. What the? Oh, it's you, Dad. That old guy is not, not scary so much as he's, he's totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Dad. I'm out of here. See you later. Make sure you're coming home in time for dinner. I guess with, like, the 3D on, like, the recreating, it just looks like we're uncomfortably close to his face. We've just walked in, and it's, like, maintained solid eye contact, like, 10 centimeters from his face. Dad, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. My seed. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty, then. I'll give that Pipple up to you as a gift. Uh, it's yours. Would you like to give it a nickname? Jefferson. <laughs> The sun, yeah, the sun actually works quite well here. Your friend Lad told me about what happened at the lake. Heard you battle very well despite it being your first time. Well, I can see there's a grown bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it's still young. So I would like to entrust you with Piplup. My name is Rowan, I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. What I wish to ask of you, I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. You used to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me. No. <laughs> I can stand here without speaking for hours. I'm a very patient man. Let me ask you again, Dad. I want to trust you with the po- <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Dad, your grand adventure begins right now. Be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Dad. <laughs> Dad, after all this time... Why did you never come home all these years? You could have called! Don's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest with the professor. Sure you can, you. Oh, so you're the new dad, huh? You're looking after her. Well, I'm not good enough of a parent for her, is that right? You're not a real father and you never will be. <laughs> Why does it look like the Pokemon is like empty? <laughs> you can just see through that door. There's nothing in there. Like. <laughs> It's just a shed. Dad, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. What do you mean they don't accept my card? I've worked in, a co like, in this country for 40 years. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rome with the Pokedex? Oh, uh, my family, they're the last people I want to see. Those good for nothing. I don't know how much I help them. Will I be allowed to just leave? Can I just keep going? Dad? Did you tell your family that you're helping the professor? You didn't, did you? <laughs> oh, tell me what to do, John. Okay, let's go say goodbye to our family. I'm leaving. Okay, Dad, to get you started, here's some Pokeballs. You need God and your team. Yeah, let's uh, let's go catch a Badoof. Let's uh just address that real quick. Oh, there's a Starly here as well. I do want a Starly. Staraptor, right? Real talk. One of the best. A default like kind of flying Pokemon that you can catch in any Pokemon game. It's normal flying, but what makes him special is he gets access to close combat, which is like 120 base fighting type attack. We'll call it Burby. Like not quite a Furby, not quite Burb. Your Pokemon trainer happened to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so battle we must. Here we go. Youngster Tristan. Oh god, he's got like the original sprite work too. When he poses. Your bird's no match for my children. Give him the old one too, Jefferson. Just annihilate this poor kid's Pokemon. Humiliate the child. Cannot withstand the might of Jefferson. Experience share is on. Okay. So I heard that was one of the huge changes, yeah. That's on by default. I don't think there's a toggle for that. Jefferson's taken on the world. Uh, actually, Jefferson might be in trouble here. What is this, an electric rat? Well, you can take on the world. It probably doesn't even have an electric type attack right now. Live dangerously. It's a cat. Well, no, it's kind of like a dog, ain't it? Well, uh, in like dad's like hazy perspective of playing this game, like they're all like a rat. What is this, a Pikachu? Oh, I got a water Pikachu. Oh, that guy's got a fire Pikachu. Like that's how dad sees this game. Hi, hey, dad, are you catching Pokemon? Um, you feel a lot safer for you to catch some more. What do you mean? I feel perfectly safe. I got two fists right here, Don. In the local room upstairs, you can battle and trade with other people. Did, did they bring back the upstairs in the Pokemon centers? They've brought back the union room? What year is this? I know it's a little sudden, but would you like to join a group? 
you join a group, you can comp compete or cooperate with fellow members. Wanna join? Oh shit, I think I have a hazy memory of what this is. I'm honestly amazed some of these features are back. These are ancient, like, I'm surprised they've even bothered to support this. Dad's barbecue. <laughs> uh, no, who wouldn't want to join this group and hang out with me? Look at all these burgers I've made. So many sloppy joes. The water looks inexplicably juicy somehow. It looks like an odd gelatin. I feel like we're fishing in jelly. It's said to be the world's weakest Pokemon. No one knows why it has managed to survive. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Why is this even alive? Hey, Dad, did you come to study too? I've already graduated. Don't you talk down to me like I don't know anything. Here's your mail. Stop ordering it to the house. You know you don't live with us anymore. That was the best way to learn. Can we get a battle with you? Oh, let's kick his ass. Oh God, it's got charge beam as attack, actually. That's actually super effective. That's a little scary. Okay, come on, Jefferson. I think he can still live it. He's fine. Give me your money. But who let this man inside the trainer school? He's just attacking all the children. Okay, uh, we can still take it. Quick attack. That was a lot of damage. That was actually actually been quite scary if we didn't kill it there. We might have lost that battle. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, just doing a Nuzlocke run here, it's like, the trainer's school got me. <laughs> you obtained TM10s? Wait, did he give me a few? We had the records, and then we had TMs and Sword and Shield. We've gone back to standard TMs. I think they break again, but they give you a few copies. That means it's just gonna... I imagine that means just a lot of TMs are just gonna be unavailable. <laughs> oh, we have the old calculator app. <laughs> They've actually, like maintained all of this like th this is wild that this is still in the game this used to be done with the touch screen on the ds hey dad tell me you got a little tougher me do you need to ask of course i got tougher come on let's battle it out oh bopping theme alert pokemon trainer lad showdown okay my burb is better than your burb why is he d oh my god oh that was unfortunately quite close. Let's send in Jefferson. At least Burb's stronger now, within an inch of her poor life. Okay, Turtwig. It's actually quite a problematic one. Uh, let's growl a bit. Okay, keep, keep using Tackle. Forget the fact that you're a grass type and probably have something way better to hit me with. We're doing like the same amount of damage, but I've used like two growls on it. This isn't looking too good for the gang. Does Water Gun do any more? Just send in the fish a moment. Burby should be able to take the hits now because there's like, there's growls and Razor Leaf isn't nearly as scary. There we go. Critical hit, the great equalizer. There we go. That's it, that's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm gonna be the world's toughest trainer and you know it. First thing to do is take on the Orbros City Pokemon Gym. Gonna toughen up for that totally. We're not actually doing a Nuzlocke. I'm, I'm not interested in doing one for this. Like, I, I just want to enjoy this and like have fun and nostalgia. Uh, but I'm still gonna try and actually win the fights. And if I can make it so a Pokemon doesn't die, I will do that. It's a Nuzlocke until someone dies. <laughs> yeah, Nuzlocke could run at the moment. No death so far. Let's go get our first capture. First encounter for Route 204. Oh, it's a Shinx. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. We'll just catch Pokemon as we see fit and like we'll assemble like a rough team of them. It doesn't have Intimidate trash it. <laughs> this poor Shinx. <laughs> you have been judged poorly, Shinx. Everyone keeps saying reset for some reason, so I think that's a good name. I just love how blank Badoof stare is in this. You think you can beat you think you can beat me? Oh, I'll come back even stronger, don't you worry. Their bullet is blocking the way inside the cavern. I think a hidden move in the Poketch would be able to break those boulders, though. Oh, our HM's still gone. This is very, that's weird in terms of like the Fateful Remaster. They've like brought back some things that are kind of like, almost feel redundant. But then other things they've actually improved on. Why have they been so like kind of middle of the road about it? Oh, here's God, we can catch him this time.
We have found him. This is the only nickname appropriate. God has been added to your party. Uh, whenever I hear like God in my head, um, I don't know if this is what the sound that plays for everyone else. What plays for me is a uh, death note when someone recognizes Kira. There's like one of like his followers that every time he sees him is like, God! And like says it like that every time. All right, hang on, let me... Trainer tips. Pokemon use, moves use energy called power points or PP for short. To replenish PP, head for any Pokemon center. Yeah, he said PP. He said PP. <laughs> oh, Cricketot. I forgot about this little guy. Let's kill him. <laughs> This feels over the top for poor youngster Sebastian. God! <laughs> this, is, this is a bit much. God's defense has harshly fallen. We have a non believer. Oh shit! What? God is dead. The Nuzlocke is over. Well, the Nuzlocke isn't over if we keep God dead. Do we just keep a dead Bidoof in our party for the rest of the game? Can <laughs> you imagine, like, Pokemon dying, but the challenge is just to make sure God is dead. <laughs> like, get to the very end with just a dead Bidoof in the team. <laughs> what if I use the Pokemon Center, right? But then I switch out God, I get him killed again every time. So basically I have to make sure God dies every time I use a Pokemon Center. Look at the size of him in relation to me, my God, I'm tiny. This is a giant of a man. Also added a new feature to your Poketch rookie trainer. The Hidden Moves app. Use Rock Smash from your Poketch and a wild Pokemon will get rid of boulders on your pack. But you need the gym badge first. You leave God in your first slot, he can die every time guaranteed. <laughs> that would mean doing the run with just five Pokemon. Because we'd have to carry it like God is dead the entire time gonna miss out on so much experience if he just takes up the slot. Like, a HM slave is still on our team to help us get everywhere. It just so happened he's dead. <laughs> like, you will use, like, God, just God knocked unconscious to, like, crack open rocks to surf. I just imagine Dan slamming a rock with a Bidoof. <laughs> like, why won't you break? Why won't you break? <laughs> it's the poor things, like, just completely unconscious. Like, X's in its eyes. Orbit City. City of Energy. What are with these camera angles? <laughs> what a sad looking street. If an enhanced Pokemon is the way to go, it makes you feel as if they're your very own. <laughs> You've called it yellow. And Rosidic yellow just because of its color. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. I mean, I can't talk consider uh, I've called like a Bidoof God and like my Starly Burby. What are you gonna name your cat? Cat. She named me a dog. Dog. Naming pets like cat or, cat or dog? I'll never understand it. The other thing I won't understand? Naming your kid Aaron. Because Aaron is the first name in the baby book of names. And I feel like some folks, they've opened the book, called it a day. Oh yeah, there's the mining museum. Coal... <laughs> oh no. Coal mining and you. Alright, let's see, uh... Destruction of the planet. Yeah, it's just gonna document it. I would love to see you just go into the museum. It's like, here's all the things cold is good for. CO2 emissions, what are those? Yeah, I, I didn't actually think about this for this poor town. Like, there's like happy-go-lucky music playing. All of these people probably have lung issues. Every single one of them. No one's breeding healthy who lives in this town for long. Wait, no, oh, God's come back to life. Okay, we gotta let God die here. It's gonna take a while to get him down. <laughs> the Geodude's not even hitting him half the time. Remove all of Bidoof's moves so he struggles. <laughs> this poor Pokemon, we're gonna fuck him up so much. <laughs> He's always gonna be dead. He has no <laughs> moves. Sandstorm subsided, God's still in it. Okay, if God can do it, I'll let him live. He's still in it. No, he's dead. <laughs> God has been defeated. Welcome, this is the Orb Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Roark, the gym leader. Um, but one trainer decided to walk proudly with a rock-type Pokemon. Gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Here we go. Pfft. 
pretty good start. Call me the one-hit wonder. Yeah, it's pretty much already there. Let's just use a pound. That's fine if he's using the potion. We can just use pound and then water gun. Oh, it didn't heal all the way. Just give it an old slap. Jefferson putting in work. Kranidos. This is the menacing one I remember. It's got stronger attacks and can actually hit you really hard. Already half dead. I, th I think we're gonna be fine. I don't think there's- Oh, it's faster! Well, we spoke a little too soon. Now we're in trouble. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bulldoze. When did I get that one? Oh, shit. Jesus. Yeah, this, this is the one I remember. Wing attack. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Oh, shit. I think we're gonna lose in the first gym. All I've got is a magic app that knows splash and an abra that knows teleport. <laughs> I don't believe that. Oh, of course he's gonna use his one status move on the fucking Magikarp, so we just have to stay here a while longer. Get him, Magikarp! Well, shit. <laughs> you were overwhelmed by your defeat. Well, God's alive again. Can't believe that. Round two. This is gonna be the only guy who beats us. Just want to train a bit longer at the gym, you know? Good workouts never complete. You gotta push yourself. All right, here's the smart play. Use your charm, Jefferson. As long as he doesn't get a crit. We're in the clear. All right, <laughs> let, me, let me whip out one of these bad boys. I'm being humiliated by this guy. He lost once, despite having the water starter on the first gym. Oh my god, he used items in the battle as well. Jeez, Christ, you suck. Crit flinch. I'm that guy who's just tossing, like, using like 40 potions to like survive in Pokemon. I'm the worst kind of player right now. What the fuck? How many flinches can you get? Hit him. Thank you. Yeah, that's how it- There you go. It wasn't even a crit. It wasn't even a crit. It's dead. That was ridiculous. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Yeah, you're telling me, Rock. There we go. One down. Can now use Rock Smash. A wild Bidoof helped. That's kind of cute. So it's just gonna, like, pull a random Pokemon, is it? Or is it just always Bidoof? <laughs> it's always- it, Like, it's just a Bidoof. At least for Rock Smash. A friendly neighbor. The hand of God. Ah, Dad. Impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? Approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research finds. In return, we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. Seems like a good deal. Dad, let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. I say no again. <laughs> oh, we've been teleported into space. I'm sure I used Ember. Oh, yeah, I probably should have just let them target it. Just as well, I'm slower. I think that, that was super effective. That did two damage. How weak is that Zubat? I was as mad as possible. The two of us losing the children. Hey, that's dad and a child to you. Oh, Burby's evolving already. That was really quick. I feel like I haven't even been using Burby that much. Hey, Burby's gonna be unbelievably strong now. Already evolved. Star Ravia. The bigger Burby. You guys looked awfully scary, but you sure showed them. That was like a breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name's Beeb, and I work as a system administrator in Hartome City, east of here. I was thanks for putting on such a good show. I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. Also give these ball capsules to you. Just, just, what, what if we just put it all on? Just load this thing up. Go, Jefferson. Yeah, it's just like kind of vomits everything. Doesn't even look that nice.
Everything's getting so strong. Here's an evolution. He looks more like Jefferson now. Why, hello there. Like you played Let's Go in Kanto before. Would you like to go on an adventure in Sinnoh with this Pokemon? Oh, okay, right. <laughs> sure. Oh, you there. I gather you've seen a wishing star before. Do you mind taking this Pokemon? I think it'd be perfect for you. Yeah, here's a Jirachi. So if we just not don't want to try anymore, we could just use these Pokemon for the rest of the game. Uh, so we're back to like the kind of archaic way of getting the berries in. You got to pick each individual one and plant each individual one, I think. Oh no. So here's like a yellow tree. Put honey on it. And then what you do, I think you come back later in the day. And if it's rustling, you found something. Can you get my papa for me? He works at Valley Windworks. Okay, a, a fellow dad is in trouble. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commandos. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's the art style, but your head's just fucking massive. Like, it's bigger than your body. I win, you leave. If you win, we Team Galactic will leave. Why don't you just use force? There's like four of you here. I like how it's space, except for like the Galactic brand carpet uh, that someone's plopped down there. <laughs> how will I know this is our space? Just paint this real quick. Oh, it's using U-turn. Oh, poor ugly. I forgot about this one. Oh, I... Okay, Jefferson, you're up. I think we just go for water gun because stab. Oh, no. It's going to steal my quick claw. Okay, water gun. No! <laughs> Jokes on you. I have nothing left to steal. Oh, god damn it. It's It's got the quick claw, too. Okay, reset's actually gonna fight this battle. One attack of the run. Wait and see. We might never use it again. <laughs> Oops, I messed that one up. It's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. It's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. We didn't need this power station anyway. Papa! Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Well, sorry to have you working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. The balloon Pokemon will come visit again. Okay, another dad safe. The Drifloon should actually appear now, I thought. Maybe it's just because we only just did it? Drifloon's only on Fridays. But it is Friday. Do I have to wait till next week? Oh, that's a shame. Did I, like, have I just missed it by, like, a minute? It's 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. it appears. Oh, god damn it, you're kidding me. One minute. <laughs> Well, as always, next week. Is experience share is broken as usual in this game? Yeah, it's the same one from the last few ones. Oh, is this gonna be like five Geodude guy? There's always one of these. There's like a five, there's like a six Magikarp guy. And there's always that one guy with a bunch of Geodudes. Experience share is broken, says the guy that lost to the first gym. <laughs> if I make any comment now on this game's like difficulty, like, okay, first gym die guy. The rich coming from you, ain't it? Oh, I used the wrong move, too. No. I was looking at chat. Yeah, okay, select the wrong move, guy. The credibility lays dead alongside God. Jesus Christ. If you don't all stop making fun of me, I'll send the game back. My dad works for Nintendo, you know? He can do that. There was like so, there was like one kid in every playground that was like, dad works for a Nintendo guy. I think there was like a rumor in like the playground, like back when I was in school that like, I think you can unlock Waluigi or something in Super Mario 64. That was a big one. I remember one big one that I focused on is like uh, the zone called Pattern Bush and Fire Red and Leaf Green. And a bunch of us were convinced like the pattern shows something. And if you can translate it, you get Mew. There was like one, there was one area called Altering Cave I remember too. Where it's like, yeah, you can unlock like secret Pokemon there. Turns out Altering Cave was just like a unfinished leftover for unlocking certain Pokemon that they didn't actually implement in the game. So it's like, oh. He's like kid me trying to like decipher what it all means. It's game dev 10 years like, yeah, we didn't finish that bit. Do we want to start like a rumor for like the new games, but like in, in the internet era? We can't verify it whatsoever, but we just want to spread it like wildfire and see if people catch on. Golden Bidoof. So there's actually like a Sinnoh version of Bidoof, uh, but you can only get it if you defeat like 100 Bidoofs in battle. You can actually unlock Pokemon Platinum in the new Pokemon games. That's right, it's all there. Uh, what you have to do is you have to beat the game using Giratina uh, while it's like 3 a.m. And then when you beat Cynthia, she will say, congratulations. But then she's actually the ghost from the house. Then Platinum starts. Rotom vending machine form dispense infinite lemonades. Yeah, so Rotom actually has a secret sixth form. 
uh, outside of the appliances. You can actually give him in a vending machine. What you have to do is you have to go to the broken, the haunted floor of the department store at 3 a.m. Always needs to be at 3 a.m. or something like that. If you do it right, a little sound effect jingle will play. And that's how you get Mew. I would develop I'd include something like that just for real, just to mess with folks. But the thing is, that did kind of exist back in the day. Because think about it, right? Yeah, so you can actually catch a different form of Badoo. If you, all you gotta do is kill 800 of them in the wild, and then it'll show up. Yeah, so if you go to the haunted house after you beat the Elite Four, and if you interact with the TV at 9 in the evening, there's actually a Pokemon that comes out of it. Doesn't sound real in the slightest. Completely legitimate encounter in this game. Pokerus too, yeah, Pokerus would be like a weird one. Yeah, my Pokemon got a virus. I think it's something to do with getting Mew. <laughs> it's always to do with getting Mew. Dad, may I ask you a big favor? <laughs> Want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of do it, doing it alone. I thought that Mirage Island was a rumor for years. Yeah, Mirage Island's actually real. That was another one back in the day. Yeah, so if you talk to the old man in the seaside town, and he's looking out the window, and he says that he can't see Mirage Island, but if you talk to him like 400 days in a row, then he'll say that he can see it. And then you get a new kind of berry. Does not sound real in the slightest. In case evolution sounds like a playground room would turn in your 3DS upside down. Yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> Wait, that's true. Yes, there's a Pokemon that only evolves if you're holding your console upside down. Like, it sounds like such a shit post. But it's actually how it works. You know, we're turning consoles upside down to evolve Pokemon on that. Like, it makes me kind of understand that crowd that thought you have to microwave your iPhone to, like, get a new update that makes it microwave proof. Yeah, you have to put your Nintendo Switch in the microwave and then you get a new fire type Pokemon. Do not do that. You get a new Rotom form? <laughs> oh, that's actually terrible because there is kind of like a Rotom microwave form. It's like Rotom Easy Bake Oven is one of them. Oh no. Yeah, so to evolve Rodom, you gotta stick it in the appliance to get the right form. So you put it in the fridge, it becomes fridge Rodom. If you stick it in the microwave, it becomes microwave Rodom. If you stick it in a lawnmower, put it in the washing machine, put it in like a desk fan. Don't actually do this, please. Oh no, this is the magic harp fisherman! I can't get- God won't die. It's impossible. It's impossible. Oh no. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any possible way to do it. I'm just gonna use Splash. Oh god damn it. Right, I guess God's getting some XP. <laughs> Time to reset. We gotta start over. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'll talk to another fisherman. Please don't be another Magikarp guy. God damn it. <laughs> These fishermen are gonna ruin us. Well, I think the keeping God, God dead run is over. It, it, it's been sabotaged. Uh, by the Magikarp trainers. There's nothing we can do. But God is unfortunately alive again and will continue to be alive going forward. <laughs> Treat him to get Jesus. <laughs> so we gotta get another Bidoof named Mary, right? We leave Mary and God in the Pokemon daycare. Now, nothing happens whatsoever, but Mary lays an egg. That's all this is. In remaster Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, they remastered the Bible. The Bible too. It's bigger and better than ever. Underground man's house digging down for adventure. Oh, can we just unlock this now? And the first one to start digging out the grand underground. And call me the underground man. Everyone does. Might just a gift to you. Hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. Explore kit, we can already go. Hey dad, this is your first time here. Welcome to Sinnoh's Grand Underground. The network of tunnels, caves, and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. So this is something that they've changed quite a bit. From my understanding. The wall is bulging slightly. Oh, this is coming back. You can dig into it. So you gotta go mining. And then you dig out the items that are hidden. Oh, that's a big one. And there's the progress of the top. Everything was dug up. Yeah, God, I remember spending a lot of time in this back in the day. This is completely new. There, there was nowhere to actually go into before. What is this? They have underground areas. And then in these, the Pokemon just walk around. That's pretty cool. See, I can just catch like a Gastrodon here if I want one. If I set a link code, can you guys meet up with me? Because that's kind of cool. Yeah, I can see him on the map. Oh, they're running here. Uh, let me let me fight a bud you. I need, I need to get this one. It's a flash mob. That's so cool that this is like scaling and actually providing some more challenge. Compared to like the default trainers. Like level 18 wild Pokemon at this point in the game. 
Gotcha buddy was cat. Lettuce. Lettuce actually is kind of cute. Lettuce is like a name you might give for like your pet guinea pig or something. We're gonna go lettuce. Lettuce has been sent to a box. Oh, there's people here. Hello there. So you can like kind of do little emotes. Do we launch an expedition anyway? There's like 17 people in here somewhere now. I think there's, so there's someone else up. Someone's made a base up here. This is Jay's secret base. This is so menacing. Why is this all that's here? Why is there nothing else here? Is Capture the Flag not back? Because I'm curious about part of the multiplayer. Oh. Other people are smacking hammers. God, that's oddly menacing when they're just here. They don't add to the bar either by doing that, yeah. That's a real big incentive to like be in the underground with other people. What is that meter then for 23 or 40? It's the diglets, but what do you mean by diglets? Oh, do you mean the dig spots? Because diglet is a Pokemon. No, we mean the Pokemon. We mean diglets. What do you mean you mean diglets? <laughs> I feel like everyone's shit posted. What is that? It went up. What does that mean? It's going up. <laughs> what? The cracks in the wall. Is that what it is? No. Then what the fuck is it? There's like 20 different explanations. It's diglets. It's diglets. What diglets? There's been no diglets. It's the diglets. There's so many diglets. The numbers, Mason. What do the numbers mean? You're not- This isn't like the playground rumor. The people are saying, yeah, so if you find all the diglets, you have a higher chance of finding Mew. Oh my god, we've actually got a playground rumor. This is incredible. We were talking about it so much earlier. This is like actually the new playground rumor. But we're sure of one thing. It'll help you find Mew. Oh my god, it's real. Was there a diglet? I did not see one. I'm losing my mind to being down here. It's like, oh my god, I just saw one! <laughs> if it reaches 40, you actually unlock the secret Pokemon Platinum. <laughs> my god, they tried to tell us. It's real! It's real! It's real! There's a Diglett! Oh my god, you guys are right. There's another one. They exist. They're real. Elle is real. Mew is under the truck. Something good may happen in the Grand Underground. What does that mean? Oh, walls bulging. What is this? What is that? You obtained a gorgeous stone box. The stone box started to shine. An Altaria statue appeared. It's loot boxes. Oh no. There's another one. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna get like Pokemon loot boxes. In the underground. Togekiss statue appeared. Do I just decorate my home with these? Oh, hello, gang. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> How do they coordinate this? They have, like, these people have no communication with each other. It always feels like an ant colony coming together or something like that. Whenever, like, people that, like, not to compare you guys to ants, but it's just the fact that, like, you have no actual communication, yet you somehow all manage to be in sync with each other. They increase shiny odds for the statue of the Mon is four. Does that mean I'm gonna be able to find like a Togekiss down here? Cause that seems kind of wild. A Salamence statue appeared. So there's regular ones and then there's shiny ones. Oh shit, we've got some really good ones there. Like Togekiss, Salamence, those are really strong mons. Dad's secret base. <laughs> this is dad's man cave. You're not allowed in here. Statues plays zero of 18. Okay, so I mean we're, oh my God, these are huge. How many of us do you think made our base in like this wall here? I want to see if someone just comes down, like, directly on this point. How's it going? <laughs> oh, something good may happen. We got the shiny thing again. There, there's someone's base. Oh my god. <laughs> do, do you not decorate them with furniture at all anymore? Is it just statues? It's cool that they've added Pokemon to the underground. It's a bit of a shame that the bases have been dumbed down a little. <gasps> oh, I want that one. I would would not say no to a shiny Roserade. I know we've, like, completely sighed. <laughs> Wait, 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 the bees! The bees are angry! Hang on! Forget how cool the underground was. I just got a fossil. A skull fossil. I can get a Cranidos. That's pretty good. Rotom Wash. Oh, wow. You found a washing machine in the underground. People said there was no furniture in the bases anymore. I just proved them wrong. Uh, there is a female combi. Those are actually quite rare. There you go, chat. Two re returning characters from Metopia now. God wants to evolve. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't- I don't think- <laughs> You stay as you are, God. You don't believe in evolution, God. That's really cool how that's like actually online now. I feel like a lot of us did not get to experience that proper back in the day. Oh! 
One of the best characters in this one. Got a Pokedex. You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay, hello, Dad. <laughs> oh, we've ruined this moment. <laughs> My name's Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eternity City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Or the bit is an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. It's actually clearly a statue of Dialga in this one, that's actually kind of cool. It's like nondescript Pokemon in uh, like the old ones, but they've actually seemed to have changed it. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader me until they've beaten all the other trainers. We'll be waiting for you in the back. Oh, alrighty then. Gotta find him in this slight wood. Already gone the wrong way. The perspective is weird when it's like this, because like if I'm going down, there's like so little view. I don't know if that's like a maintained perspective from the DS ones. I have in the chat, you're just in a box, but some people are like, why aren't we fighting? It's like, you're not part of the team. I'm not, I'm not using a uh, combi. Like, I've got God in the team already. I don't need chat anymore. God himself is here. Attack order on Dan. <laughs> Let's use our Pokemon move, guys. If we all come together, mutiny. Bye-bye, chat. God is evolving. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, trying to keep God dead or him just constantly evolving. I'm a turn as gym leader. Gardener, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. Anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. Here we go. Gym leader, gardener. Let's go. Rose is such a cool looking Pokemon. Grass Knots, it, it is faster now. Oh, that's a resisted attack too. What? God is evolving. <laughs> Stop it, God. Might have said it before, but you're really tough. I can I proudly grant you this. Second badge. Uh, we gotta go in here real quick. It's a friendly neighborhood Bidoof that helps us once again. What is with the camera angles? <laughs> What's with this like pan in cinematic shot that always happens? It's like, oh, I gotta get the camera in the right place. Left this planet again. I, I'm not even, I'm not too worried here. I think I'm gonna have like a fine old time in Sinnoh. It does seem like we've just gotten quite strong quite quickly. Last of the first gym. You gotta remind me. <laughs> first gym is probably the hardest gym in this game. There, I said it. You don't understand how difficult it is. Uh, well, we cut it very close, but we seem to be in the clear. What a stroke of luck. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Still beat him. Aren't you tough? It's okay though, our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Marat's collected energy from the Valley Windworks. Pretty much finished our light in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. Thanks for rescuing me. Let me give you a bike. I'd like you to choose a color for your bike. Which one would it be? Oh, let's go red. You want a red bike. You get to preview it. Spooky place. Old Chateau. Oh, I remember spending so much time when this is a kid getting creeped out. Trying to like unravel what the secret is of this place. I hope they've maintained it. Pokemon magazines. Like, wow, Pokemon Pals in here. Latest issue. You can hear laughing. Oh, that's a nice touch. They made it a little creepier. There she is. Yeah, there's ghosts in the house. There he goes. Okay, Cyclone Road. I think this one just propels you when you get on it. Yes, it does. Yo, having a good time cycling. I was until you stopped me. Good thing all your downward momentum suddenly stops when someone wants to talk to you. Yeah, like, probably the equivalent of like a car crash to talk to this person. <laughs> I just like fly off the bike. You want a battle? Well, you did it. The thing is, I'm probably still not gonna use it. <laughs> I don't need a Gyarados. I've got like, uh, I've got a Piplup. Oh, the dowsing machine. Yeah, I forgot that's what this was in this. Okay, unseeable items. Something you should touch often. Is that gonna work proper? 
Oh, God. Yeah, that's actually kind of... Will that keep pinging? No, it won't. Okay, that that's kind of horrible how that works. This makes sense with a DS, but, like, this isn't the DS. Like, it doesn't make any sense now. You gotta wait for it to ping out. Oh, no, I, I never want to use that. There's so many good TMs on the ground, though. Well... I mean, I could get them, but like, it's the difference of adding like 20 hours to play in this game. 20 hours more content. Of like me trying to like, to find the disc on, in the grass. Oh, I've dropped my keys somewhere. Hang on, let me just... We would watch, but why? <laughs> we watch paint dry, why wouldn't we watch it grind? So there's like two of these points now that are gonna invalidate whatever I say. If I ever say a game is difficult, okay, died at the first gym guy. And if I ever say you wouldn't watch that, okay, paint drying guy. Holy shit, a fire type! There's only one of these in the wild in this region. That's the secret cave, yeah? Wayward cave. Yeah, we gotta gotta wait a bit to get in there. Oh no, you can walk around a bit in here, even without strength. Is it possible to find Gibble in this section of the cave? We also don't have flash. Oh, I do have flash. It can also be used to illuminate caves. Does that still work out how it was? That's so weird. Like, this is like another odd half measure. All the HMs are bound, but Flash. No, you still gotta like teach that one and use it. Wait, oh God, could have learned Flash. I should have given that to God. Cause God's just gonna be sitting here most of the time anyway. It's also thematically appropriate. Cause like, and the Lord said, let there be light. Oh no, he couldn't. The, the Lord changed his mind. Wait, why am I not, why am I not using Flash? Why am I still wandering in the dark? What's wrong with me? <laughs> like, you hold on to that light there. Don't turn it on or anything. I just like having it close. Why are the two kids just in here? Like, it's like a pitch black cave. What are they doing down there? <laughs> Those kids are still lost, RT. One of them is going to die. The other will become a Wendigo. <laughs> it's a marathon. A Pokemonathon, if you will. <laughs> oh, that sounds like so cheesy. <laughs> hey, guys. Today, we're not just doing a marathon. We're doing a Pokemonathon. Whoa! How long do you think it's gonna be? Because I, I do, like, of all my voices, that cringe gamer voice probably comes out the most. How long do you think it's gonna be before I just get permanently stuck like that? Like, I'm unironically introduced in every stream. It's like, whoa! -ho! Hey, guys! We'll do family-friendly RT game. Where it's like, uh, like, the Disney Channel presents RT game. He's a gamer. And he plays games. At home. Join him on his wacky antics and become an RT gamer. I have to tone down all my language as well. Oh, heck. What the heck is going on here? Whoa. I will give you bits not to do that RT for the love of God. Whoa, it looks like Hero Blade here just engaged the serious gamer mode. I'm gonna have to stay focused the next five minutes. Oh no, how will I get through this? Oh, God's evolving now. No, not now, God. There's someone at the end of the cave you have to escort out. Oh. God, I remember that now. Oh, you think that's what all the double battles are for? Because I'm supposed to get her first. I've already cleared out the cave. <laughs> oh, here they are. Yeah, I completely forgot about this character. I'm Mira. I was catching Pokemon, then I got lost. I'm so scared. Please, please take me to the exit. Can I just use an escape rope and get out? There's the exit. I want to get tougher so I won't be such a scaredy cat. Dad, bye-bye. Thank you. I'll see you later. Oh my god, look at him, he's so cute. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinar region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. What became of that world? He has no nose! I find the state of things to be deplorable. I don't think I have a nose either. Go to Route 209, head to the Grand Underground, listen to the Stone Pillar. Oh shit! A spirit arm was linked to the underground back in the day. You're actually gonna be able to do that now because the internet exists. The binary. Thank goodness you happened to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my binary could have ran. I'm Kira, I'm a super contest show judge. Please drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. All in a day's work, man. Pikachu seems delighted to be out of its Pokeball for a walk outside. So in the original game, how this worked is there was only like, I think like 12 Pokemon you were allowed to walk with that were considered cute enough and everything else you're not allowed to bring. It's still that way. Okay, right. This is blatant discrimination. Use the right stick to move the camera around and view your walking partner Pokemon as much as you like. 
Now, so reset the camera to its original state by pressing and holding down the right stick. <laughs> Let me just uh, grab a thumbnail real quick. Oh, it looks like the Pokemon that was taking a stroll at you wants to go out. Only special trainers can make their Pokemon feel that way. I'm pretty sure that your Pokemon will be, will be delighted if you let them out of their Pokeballs outside the square too. There we go! The Pokemon follow you now. Does it work based on the lead? You can just click walk together. You'll walk together with God! God is staring at your face. God is clinging to you! <laughs> I think we're gonna have to try a contest while we're here. Oh my hero. Oh hi dad! I got bored so I came out to Har home for a little vacation. Just a surprise to see you here, my dear. Are you serious about entering super contest shows? Not dressed that way. Pokemon's time to shine, so you shouldn't just be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. Get a tuxedo. <laughs> just happens to have that honor. You can do this via internet. We can have a contest battle. Oh my god, who wants to take part in this? God is... <laughs> god can enter. I have to select his move. Headbutt. Perfect ball capsule. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not a tuxedo. Mom has not seen a tuxedo. I feel like an idol. Super contest show, cuteness rank. Entry number one is dad and god. <laughs> one of these entries is gonna be a bit different to the rest of them. Okay, we got a squad. It's a rhythm game. Oh no, it's a rhythm game. Contest move X, what does that do? God shows off with headbutt. So we need to get as much hype as possible, I think. What are they doing? They're all just like walking on stage. I remember in the original there was like a dance mini game. This is like a very different one. <laughs> There's the show are. Uh, Boopy and Ponyta. Okay, that's literally it. Oh. Oh god, that's been gutted. Oh no. Oh, that's barely anything. Uh, how that works on DS is you'd have a Pokemon dress up, you'd have a Pokemon dance round, and then you would have five rounds of moves, and you would have to get certain combos, and the moves would have certain types. Yeah, that's been absolutely gutted. That's a real shame. And there do I see my father, my son, my life. There do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. Would you like to meet God? Oh, uh, lad's back as well. Oh, we gotta go. Get the show started. Pokemon trainer lad. We're in space again for some reason. Why does he keep going to space? He's level 19. We are level 29. He might have a bit of an edge. I don't know why like the background is like <laughs> just in space. They have some very detailed backgrounds for like the other zones. I thought were actually really good. I love like the mountain ones and that because he actually like it's actually very faithful to where you are. They look cool. Is it just not a city one or something? Or is it just Barry? Oh, is it the time of day? Well, so like, was it like a brighter background? I find it hard to believe if it's like you're playing the game in the evening while you don't get the pretty background. That would be insane. Oh, we killed Lad again. He just keeps running. Uh, you can like trek down to like the Fort Gym instead. Uh, but I think we're just gonna go Veilstone. <laughs> there's some cool, there's some cool places over here. Oh, is the casino gonna be gone? No, they, they showed the casino in the trailer, I think. The casino is replaced. Oh, okay, well. Okay, all right. It's now a closed door. Right. That's quite the transformation. Wait, we have camera angles now. I just... Re we've had... Why are the camera angles only focused on the trainers? It's for every battle if you leave it idle for a few seconds. Oh, is it actually? Have I just gone too quick? You just never leave it idle. Let me see. I'm... I'm I, I have to test this. I, like, almost don't believe you. <laughs> I think maybe the reason I've thought it is because this is what it always is, and even if we... There's no way. No, it never went that fast. No. There's no way. I, I, I'm gonna rewatch the stream. I can't believe that. No, because every time I've been doing a battle, it's just like this. How have I not noticed this? I'm eight hours into playing this game. It moves. What? I have to check. How? How? how am I just going mad? <laughs> it was always there. It's been doing it the entire time. How have I not noticed? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Died in the first gym. I swear, like, the camera has been static, like, 50% of the time. 
I swear to God. Dad, if you need a break, feel free to take one. No, I'm not losing my mind. No. It's real, I tell you. It's real. Contest actually have six rounds, you just didn't notice. No, stop this. No. Use the odd keystone. The stone tower has been restored. Hollowed tower is written on it. Hollow Tower appears to have been built many years ago. So you can get this up by talking to people in the underground, I believe. Uh, let us hop on down real quick. Oh, here, watch there be no fire types in this volcanic cave. Are you ready? Are you ready? There's none here. It's all rock types. In, in the underground sections, at least, they seem to have spruced up the, the Pokedex a little. I imagine there's a possibility of even finding, like, a Magmar. Which means there might be a grand total of three fire types available. Which is before the Elite Four, which is quite shocking. There are Hound Doom, I caught one earlier underground. Okay, so, so that, that means the meme might be lifted. There's actually fire types available. Fire types in my set on this remake is inaccurate. Uh, there is, oh, 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 oh. if we go over here, uh, it's still here. There's a secret cave in this town. Glossian ruins. We can still spell swears out of unknowns. Oh god, that's how you get the letter stickers in this, isn't it? You capture the unknown. It would take a lot of work, but I can make it so the Pokeball will say fuck. Letter stickers got removed. Oh. Never mind. Friendship. All lives touch other lives to create something anew. And alive. Creepy, ain't it? Is that about sex? <laughs> no. I believe if you catch all the unknown in the ruins, that does something? Catch one now, we'll catch an E. The unknown have every character, and then there's like an exclamation mark and a question mark unknown. Usually to get the question mark and the exclamation mark, you gotta meet some criteria. But we, ha we have to catch them all first. Unknown are kind of weird, because like they're like a non-Pokemon. I I I've never met anyone who goes like, oh shit, an unknown. I gotta get this on my team. But they're like a fun collectible. We miss this tower. This is another spooky place. Every Pokemon game has like a graveyard tower. It's always a tower for some reason. Oh shit, but lettuce is evolving. That's actually wonderful. I was worried this would take forever. This is gonna be such a power increase. Look at that, it's like actual special attack. I think that's like the highest attack and stat I've got on anything. Yeah, it is. I've got- I've got been really unfortunate with some of these natures, like, Jefferson's is, like, abysmal. Resets is terrible. <laughs> uh, they're woeful. At least Lettuce seems to be, like, default neutral. Does God obtain ancient power? I don't think so. I'm trying to think what the most, like, thematically appropriate moves would be for him. Or, like, a moveset. Judgment? <laughs> I don't think he learns that one. <laughs> if someone likes to, like, hack a Badoo for me... <laughs> Give it like judgment, roar of time, spatial rend, and like giga impact or something. Oh shit, we get a Luxray already. It's this poor Luxray, it's gonna be replaced by God eventually. I'm so sorry, like you're viable, but we need to keep this meme on the team. Oh, God is trying to evolve again. Not today. <laughs> Are you a conservative? What channel, what stream do you think this is? We gotta ask all the hard-hitting political questions. I'm playing Pokemon Diamond. Careful, Dan, the version of the remakes you choose is a political view now. <laughs> oh shit, I went for Diamond, what does that say? <laughs> you know, we should charge for every Pokemon Center. People have too easy with the free healthcare here. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we, we can check on this one for now. We're not gonna go all the way back to Florama Town again, because it's quite far. The tree is rustling, there's something there. It'll burn me. Which is the right way to put the toilet paper? Like front facing, because I'm not a monster. If people do it the other way, I'm like, let me just fix that. God love them. They must have been tired. Orange juice or apple juice? I like them both. I alternate. This uh, I'd like to like remind folks that this all started because someone asked, like, are you conservative? Like, and I was like, we're in all the hard hitting political opinions. Pope or no pope? No pope. Still water or fizzy water? I like fizzy. So still water, right? A fizzy pop. I actually prefer it when it goes flat. When you let, when you leave it a while, I think it tastes nicer. Ew, flat soda. It's nice. An Irish cure all. If you're sick, is a glass of flat Seven Up. It like kind of relaxes your stomach. 
Like that and pseudo cream are like the two things Irish mammies here will do. Falling down the stairs or like you cut open your hand? Pseudo cream. Bada bing, bada boom, you're, you're cured. They make you drink pseudo cream. No, no, you, you put the pseudo cream on and you drink the 7 up. Don't start like laddering yourself with 7 up. That's not gonna work. Probably gonna burn you. <laughs> oh yeah, I love this roadblock from back in the day. Psyduck is standing firm. They aren't inclined to move at all. Just a herd of them there. I wonder if they care about Pokemon ecosystems in the games. Because if you think about it, they're quite content with just kind of killing wild Pokemon. Like, hunting must be rampant in the Pokemon world. Imagine you're an endangered species in this game or like a rare Pokemon. Everyone's like, oh shit, I want to catch one of them. And like, actively hunt them out and drive them out in the wild. Are you a Pokemon poacher? I mean, I'm kind of hunting them down and capturing them from their homes. Like, in the real world and that, like, you know, you see, like, a cool new type of bird. You can't really be like, I'm gonna take it home with me. Ducks at the duck pond are free, you can just take them. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> Leave the ducks alone at the duck pond. Imagine you just come home to your family and, it's like, they're all gathered around the table. It's like, you're not gonna believe what I found at the park today. This is the reality that we have to live with in the Pokemon world, though. Like, some, day, some days you probably just come home to, like, your mom in this game and it's like, Look what I caught! And it's just like a dragon that you've unleashed on the kitchen. It's setting the curtains on fire. There we go, we got a star after already. One of the best Pokemon of this gen. Just a really powerful bird. Majestic. Well, look at her and her little haircut. So emo. Oh, God is evolving too! No, you're not God. I think we've just made it to the town. That room was a lot smaller than I remember. Veilstone City. Oh, before we get over here. Hey, Manaphy's Hatch. A one-of-a-kind egg model in the series. There you go. Back in the day, the only way you could get this was by playing Pokemon Ranger. And you had to complete a special mission in that game. We'll pop it there. Oh yeah, this is something that I noticed last night too. Uh, they actually have the Pokemon Platinum wallpapers, which is really weird. They brought this back, and it's even tagged as Platinum. The Metronome Style Shop. Your dream style anytime. So, rip the game corner that used to be here. The hat in that reminds me, that's the Black and White 2 hat. <laughs> Interesting tidbit. It's like, Dad, what happened to your clothes? Like, it's, they seem pretty badly beat up. Farmer Dad. <laughs> uh, I think I just want to... I think I know which one I want. And I already have it. I want a platinum style. Thank you very much. Please come again. Look at that. So you can get the platinum avatar back. Yeah, that looks that looks really cool. Is Looker in this game or not? Sadly not. Looker is one of the more unfortunate cuts, I would say, for this. Uh, as far as I'm aware, he's not here. Looker is one of the few reoccurring Pokemon characters. Like, probably alongside, like, Professor Oak. Since Gen 4, he actually shows up in every generation up to 7. And in 8 was the first generation where he was missing since his appearance. In Gen 6 as well, Looker is also central to actually proving that there's multiple worlds theory of Pokemon. Because he is actually found unconscious in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And then in Gen 7, they dive on into the alternate worlds more. And he leads the charge on that. Uh, it's a real shame that he's not here, because this is when Looker would have been introduced. What the actual fuck is Pokemon lore? <laughs> Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire goes into it, like, so much. Uh, but basically, there's a Pokemon multiverse. An alternate version of Ash where he actually fucking wins something. But he did win a tournament in the end. In Ash's defense. Just, it took, like, what, 20 years? God wants to learn Takedown. You know what? Sure thing, God. More powerful than Headbutt. God will smite you. Discover DMCA. <laughs> God used demonetization. It's super effective. <laughs> Your team is kind of basic. All right, mister. What team did you use? I guarantee you, like, everyone, right? Most people playing this game have the composition that is the starter, Staraptor, and then it tends to be a Lucario and Garchomp, and then one of Roserade, Floatzel, Luxray, or Driftblim. That's like 90% of Gen 4 Pokemon teams. Maybe a Honchkrow. Oh shit, he got my team. There we go. Why are you calling me out? You got me. You see? That's like so many teams. So as an argument against being basic, you're saying you're basic. <laughs> well, no, because... <sighs> well, I walked right into that one, didn't I? Yes, I'm basic. What about it? Don't make fun of me. Look, my character's called Dad, all right? And I'm wearing like the default Pokemon Platinum outfit that like 90% of the people playing this game are also going to be wearing. Get off my case. Third gym. 
I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader. I will do the best I can. Take battling very seriously whenever you're ready. This would be scary if we didn't have a level 36 star after on our team. We should be okay. We just wing attack everything down. And on Lucario, we use close combat. That's two. Kirby's so strong. Close combat. Good fight. And we get double money thanks to Amulet Coin. Oh god, please. That was a tough loss. I learned a lot from it. Please accept this gym badge. Three down. Dad, I can't explain what it means to be strong. Or how much, go how much effort goes into it. Being with Pokemon lets us keep making the effort, doesn't it? Don't worry, I know you're not in my league yet, Miley, and you'll understand one day. Not as powerful as Dad just yet. Hi, Dad. Can Please, can you help me? Got my Pokedex by accident. Team Galactic took it. Now they won't give it back. You leave my daughter alone, Team Galactic. You don't mess with Dad. Burby's, Burby's getting real powerful. <laughs> oh, God, we're just sweeping everything. I just need to get, like, a Garchomp, teach it Earthquake, and then just win. I think that's like the new goal. <laughs> My team Glide is gonna own all the Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. Take it, take your Pokedex. So I believe I can just fly now? Although to fly, I'm gonna have to, oh, uh, I'm gonna have to load this up, aren't I? You can use fly from the town map. Poketch goes away forever once again. Oh, uh, that's cool. Uh, we have an amulet coin for this fight. These guys should be loaded with cash. That's the best part of fighting like the old gentleman in this game. Give us your pension. You think that's why they're loaded? We're just stealing their retirement funds? Okay, how much money is it gonna be? This is a double battle, two of them amulet coin. 16 grand, Jesus. Jefferson has reached his final form. We can let him evolve safely now. Got him Polion. And he now has steel typing. Oh, he's gonna narrow to a run everywhere now though, I just realized. <laughs> Best when watching anime. May look, will please refrain from touching this Pokemon statue. <laughs> Let me get my hands all over it. Hello, hello, welcome to my opulent mansion. Ahem. A lot for me to pr be proud of inside and outside of this home. It makes me the most proud of my trophy garden in the back. Why bother traveling afar when Pokemon are attracted by my garden? They come to me. You're welcome to join my marvel at my garden. It's just a little patch. It does look kind of barren, doesn't it? <laughs> I feel like they could have added a bit more detail. <laughs> the wild Pokemon in the underground are stronger than the trainer battles right now, which is kind of crazy. Like, if I head down there, I'll be fighting, like, level 30s. Whereas here's, like, a Gyarados. 21. And he, that's his only Pokemon, too. So this is, this is what the game considers a strong fight right now. It's, like, it's 12 levels lower than me. I now understand how I was able to beat it as a kid. <laughs> as a kid, it would have been harder. But like it actually is easier now because of the XP share. If they if they had the a toggle for the experience share, I think I'll be okay with it. Or if you just got it in the post game, like for leveling up stuff from that, like yeah, it's actually really handy. But like when you're going through the first time, like it just breaks it. I'm still having a nostalgic fun time, but it's very easy, <laughs> very easy. Okay, first gym die guy. Oh stop it! <laughs> I'm not letting this be my legacy. That first gym is one of the hardest ones. All right. Kranidas, level 14 at that point in the game, is terrifying. What is it? Oh, some kid with only three gym badges. Little Turp's like, you should know to stay out of Team Galactic's way. If you have four gym badges, though, and you talk to him, he's scared of you. Also, this gem employs literal children as, like, the trainers you face. Like, that kid can't be any older than, like, six or something. Child labor laws, not today. He's probably eight. Oh, sorry. Six-year-old child working. You know, so, so someone's got to inform the government. Eight-year-old child. I don't know, that's okay. He's coming of age now. Big difference. Gone from watching Rugrats to watching Rugrats all grown up. Is there even a government in Pokemon? God, I never actually thought about that. Is, there, is it just the Pokemon League, like, rules with an iron fist? Does democracy exist in these games? I guess it's organized through the gyms. It's the only semblance of power there seems to be. And every gym leader is like a sheriff for their town. Elected through combat. The strongest warrior looks after each town. There are no jails in Pokemon. Every bad guy gets snapped by God. They do actually have jails. In Gen 5, like, Looker actually, and even Gen 4, Looker arrests a lot of people. There's an FBI in Pokemon. Does that mean that there's torture? <laughs> oh no. We've got to extract, like, information out of this man. Hook him up to the Pikachu. 
How do you want to be executed in the Pokemon universe? Well, I imagine Aegis Slash they use for like, a, a, in place of the guillotine. In Kalos society. I don't want to go down this rabbit hole anymore. <laughs> okay, um, I could use Lettuce for this gym. I'm just gonna see if Burby can tank it. Let's just give it a go. Giant of a man here. Pokemon were toughened up by the stormy white waters. Take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. <laughs> he looks so stiff with his arms like that. Come on, Burby. It's only got three. Uh, we can use U-turn eventually. Reset our attack a bit. Let's just get Gyarados down and then we'll pop over. Burby should be fine. Okay, U-turn. Oh, you... All right. See how it is. You like one of the like, one of three battles reset has appeared. Got a qua oh he's got a Quagsire. We're actually gonna have to switch Pokemon. Quagsire is just such a derpy Pokemon. I love him. Looks like he, he looks like he's waiting in the queue. And like he, he's not quite sure what he's doing here. Hey, yeah, that was a good move. A okay, float soul. Scariest boy on the team. Yeah, it's dead. Cool. Never losing in a gym again. You've earned this. Ben badge from Wake. So now if we go talk to the Galactic Grunt, he'll be like, Oh, you're a twerp with four gym badges. Package finally came from the Veilstone Warehouse. That was my job to deliver this to the lake. Important mission, no failure allowed. No making boo-boos. Boo-boos? Like wandering off into the Great Marsh. You were eavesdropping, I was just talking loudly to myself. I wasn't in a hurry, I pulverize you with my Pokemon. I have to go on my way to the lake ASAP, so you're lucky I'm out. Oh, and listen, don't you dare follow me. Hey, right. I'm not gonna waste my time on a nobody like you. I'm telling you now, don't you come chasing after me. Oh no, lad. How's it going, Dad? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. Lad, no! There's a criminal, lad! Oh god, love him, he still has a Starly. That's not- why is that not even a Staravia? He hasn't even evolved it, it's level 26, what are you doing, lad? That's- that's their god. <laughs> it's like Madoof. Level 31, god- god love you, lad, you did your best. Everything is dead. <laughs> what just happened, you're telling me I lost? Yes, lad, you did. Hey, was that Team Galactic guy all freaking out about? I don't know what he's up to, but you should chase him down. Well, I was gonna! <laughs> Jefferson, please. Come on back here after you defeat the champion. Don't forget about me here, okay? Take a picture. <laughs> Hi there, it's me, the Gengar-loving director. Battle at our trainers sure is exciting, isn't it? Keep building up those bonds with your Pokemon so you can take on tougher trainers. Yeah, I'm a game director. You're working on filling a Pokedex, aren't you? It's awesome that you're gonna meet lots of Pokemon. Come show me your Pokedex when you filled it with tons of entries. Was there always a Gengar one? Different developers. Oh, you think because it's a new studio, they add it themselves as a game director. That'd be kind of funny. That is two. He had his two game directors. Oh, here's the biggest lie in the game. Are you ready for it? Stop. Yes, you. Sunny Shore City, which is down this road, had a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring power, but the road's closed now. Biggest lie in this game. He won't move for like... Three more gym badges. This poor guy, he's still running. He actually runs quite far. You have to fight a universal entity before he lets you pass. That guy won't let you go to Sunny Shore until you've captured, like, the god of time. Quite a big ask to enter Sunny Shore City. God, please. <laughs> Cynthia's here, too. Well, long, long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. You heard the folklore about it. They say there's an island inside the lake, and a mysterious Pokemon resides there. No one must enter the chamber of, of that Pokemon. Sorry to change the subject, but have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 2010? Well, 210. Uh, thank you for the medicine. Appreciate it. Went on a big adventure with a Pokedex when I was younger. It may help you uncover the secret behind the mysterious Pokemon you're searching for. Hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. See you later. Into the grass she goes. You know there's a life size to carry a plush accurate to its size in real life that they sell and I saw like a news post about that. It just seems like a lot of space to <laughs> dedicate to one, you know? The one that I would get if I could ever have the if I ever saw it would be like a life size Marie. I think that just looks fucking hilarious. They also did like a bed for Gengar where it's like you roll out its tongue 
and that's what you sleep on. <laughs> I just, I don't understand who this is for. <laughs> like you just come home from a long day in the office. <laughs> let, me, let me just go for a quick nap here. <laughs> it's kid size. But then why is like the guy in the suit in all the pictures? Dan, you wore a suit in a bathtub. This is gonna be another point that's used to invalidate whatever I have to say. The Rune Maniac Cave. Oh, this guy! You go catch the unknown, I'll keep digging away. We'll have a race so you can get it done faster. So this guy, if you go catch all of the unknown, he digs a tunnel into their cave. And it leads you to catch the final two unknown. Which is like question mark and exclamation mark. I completely forgot about him. Tell me I'm not imagining this. The Great Master's Pokemon seem to be different from the ones yesterday. Oh, they change every day, don't they? There's an Azuril. Oh my god, it's big. Psyduck. There's a Marl. The Carnivine. Oh god, it's back to Safari Balls and everything as well. You get 500 steps. It's been a while since the Safari Zone like this. You encountered a Wild Starly. Yeah, Ball Bait and Mud. Oh god, I remember this. Throwing food makes them easier to catch while eating it, they are likely to bolt. Throwing mode makes it harder to catch, but also get angry and become less likely. I always thought that was the other way around. I always thought that was the other way. No wonder I couldn't catch anything from this zone. I throw a bunch of mud and hope for the best. Oh, there's a Quagsire. Big whoopy boy. We don't have this one. Okay, give him some food. Watch him carefully. Let's give him some more food. Okay, he's gone. RT isn't here to catch Pokemon just to feed them. <laughs> I just want to feed the ducks. Just keep chucking them. I, g I gave it one bit of food. Come on. There we go. Thank you. There he is. Okay, where is that? The, the reference is the lady with the umbrella and the lake. You're here. You can't escape me now. Not quite. <laughs> You can get it in the underground too. I'm honestly tempted to just go back there. Catch out a Pokemon to show Carnivine that you have options. I don't need to leave with you, Carnivine. You can take any one of these Pokemon. There it is. And we give it some food. And we're gonna give it a little more food. Okay, now we're going to instantly capture it without fail. Thank you. Hey, get out of here. I'm gonna go home. Vladek are known to suffer from chronic headaches. No one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. But yes, can I ask you a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. There are some very rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it'll be worth your while to go. What if I don't help her? <laughs> Yo, Zinnia, yeah, I'm good. Uh, you gotta... You know, take accountability for your own problems and much. Counting on you. See you later, Cynthia. Instant rare Pokemon. It's okay. Fire is rare here. True, maybe that's what she meant. <laughs> A mythical Pokemon type. There's only one of these in the wild. Seriously, this is the only wild fire type you can catch in this game. Piplup evolves so ugly, why? Empoleon is a beautiful boy. Who take that back? No dapper this lad is. Ban him. <laughs> no, your opinion happens to be incorrect. I'm so sorry. You can't stay. Jesus. <laughs> Heavy fog sets in real quick. <laughs> Jefferson. This poor, poor Jefferson. He's seen some things. Town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here, it doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. We should probably stop this. Rated E. <laughs> this guy's just threatening terrorism, yeah, it's, it's not... I'm surprised the age rating's still intact. God, please. <laughs> Whatever, I'm out of this wood or town, there's nothing to do here anyways. We saved a small village. Why aren't you the, quite the trainer? That was magnificent. The elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, the old charm, may I see that, dear? That you say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me. That's Cynthia, she's my granddaughter. Made in honor of, the, of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. If you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Examine the ancient cave painting. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. 
There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them is a shining sphere. What is this all about? Cave paint reminds me of an old story. There existed a being, a being so powerful, it was considered a deity at the time. Opposing this being were three Pokemon. Three kept balance with the one, as if they formed a triangle. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told to this day in Celestic Town. I guess I found something useful, you should take these. They belong to my granddaughter, but she's not using them. I actually do find it cool in the context um, of the games because there's two trios. Uh, there's the trio of Dialga, uh, Palkia, and Giratina, and then there's the Lake Trio, which is uh, Azelf, Uxi, and Mesper. I remember when I was a kid, you don't actually know which one this is referring to. I think it's more likely that it's referring to uh, Arceus, but you kind of think that it's in relation to like the box legendary creating the Lake Trio, because you don't encounter Arceus. I guess you can use Surf from your Poke Edge to cross water such as seas and rivers. Gotta get the Heart Home Gym Badge. His name is Arce. Yeah, I, I, so I learned that through Pokemon Battle Revolution on Nintendo Wii. That's how they pronounce it. Arceus! That's how they say it. And, and so I, I've always said it that way ever since. It is unfortunate. Oh, the evil Funko Pop. My name is Cyrus. I seek the power to create a new world, a world without strife. Why are you telling me this? I'm just 12. When are we gonna get the um, the evil team in a Pokemon game that are just like influencers? That'd be amazing. <laughs> they're all just like, they're like a social media evil team. We already have like, um, Gen 8 we have like toxic fan base. We have like, like lovable hoodlums, that's uh, team skull. We have PETA in the form of uh, team plasma. Flare is like just not really that fun. They're just dressed in red. Their motive is like fashion. Not that intro, but like social media, specifically. Where it's like they're trying to gain followers. By committing heinous crimes. I would love that. Team Magma and Team Aqua are like the real stupid ones. As far as evil villains go, like Team Magma is like, we don't need oceans anymore. Whereas Team Aqua is, we don't need land anymore. And it's like, guys, what, like, what are both of you doing? Question, what is 3 plus 5 plus 7? 2, 16 or 15? Okay, well, I mean... The answer is 15, but we need to get the wrong answers so that we get all the trainer battles here. He's just asking, didn't you use a calculator? Why do you need to follow the trainers? Um, for experience, uh, but specifically for this, you need to also document all the Pokemon with the Pokedex. And this gym is has the only trainer in the game with a Drifloon. So it, unless you want to wait until like next week Friday, uh, this is actually the only way to unlock the national decks. If only we could get rewarded for answering wrongly in a test. Yeah, you actually kind of do here. If you get a question wrong IRL, you fight the other kids who also got it wrong. <laughs> Whoever wins among you, uh, like, gets to pass, like, the test. Why is the theme of this gym just, can you do maths? What does that have to do with ghosts? It's because maths is scary? <laughs> yeah, but the theme of whole Pokemon gym after the idea that maths is scary. It seems like a lot. Here's the Drifloon. Let's document it. RT is so good at being bad at math. I used to study being back at bad at maths back in the day. Worked real hard. Oh, here we are. Oh, ho, ho. Finally, you have arrived. Here we go. French gym leader. Fantina. Go on, Jefferson. Pretty good start. There we go. Just hit through it and it's an easy fight. Come on, Jeff. Jeff, no. Come on, Jeff. Jeff, I believe. Okay, Gengar is dead. Oh, heavens. What is this? Is this my final Pokemon? Miss Magius. Oh, she's using stickers on her ball. That's cute. Does it not have anything better to hit me with? No, it's dead. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> God, please. I'm dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Okay, fifth badge. A wild by barrel helped out by using Sir. <laughs> God's evolution is here. <laughs> oh, this looks kind of funny. Now we're just walking on water as well. There's not even, like, a bit of ground for us to stand on. We're Jesus. 
God has given us his blessing. The water's only a centimeter deep. <laughs> yeah, you think that the bi barrel we're on is just like walking along the bottom. Like, it's not that big a deal. I'm happy to help, but like you kind of unnecessary. Annihilate him with the old tried and test it. Jefferson, please. I want to fight them both. Jefferson. Jefferson, please move. Don't believe this. Flash plate. Hexed engraved. Two make matter and three make spirit. Shape in the world. And it's Giratina who's antimatter. Giratina isn't antimatter, it's gravity. I thought it was antimatter. It's antimatter, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. They say it's antimatter, but it acts more closely to gravity. Okay. Potato, potato, gravity, antimatter? What's antimatter with you? <laughs> oh god, it's a double battle. Alright, god. This is your time to shine. We have to use them. Burby and God. <laughs> Gonna smite him. Uh, Gyarados is kind of scary. God is awaiting your directions. Take down that weasel. Smite him. God hurt himself in recoil. God wants to forget a move to learn amnesia. That's, okay, that's kind of ironic. You need to learn it. Just too all-knowing. Doesn't want to know what's happening in the world anymore. Stop it, God. God evolving things is the same as your mom trying to buy stuff for you at Heart Gold Soul Silver. <laughs> Didn't matter how far you progress in the game, it's just like, I found something at the store again. It's like, Mom, I'm like fighting the Elite Four. Why was Mom always shopping? I don't know. This didn't, she didn't do anything else. Like, the entire game. Retail therapy. <laughs> he was addicted. <laughs> Just don't know what to do, my son's been gone so long. Mom, no, this is to pay for the house mortgage. <laughs> Mom, what the fuck? I can't do that. That was my college fund. I was putting that money away. Why do you think all of all these parents all send their kids out? It's for the money. You think it's just... Like, everyone's just dirt poor. It's like, we can't afford to feed you. Please go out into the world and have a Pokemon adventure. No one has any jobs in this world. All, like, all... Uh, all everyone does is just stand in the same spot for like 24 hours a day. They don't even sleep. What happens to the trainers who just constantly lose their battles? They must be dirt poor. They must be like massively in debt. They just go into debt and join Team Rocket. Maybe that's how they get started. It must be evil to rally together an evil team if you think about the circumstances like that. Like the evil teams like at least promise pay. Go and escape from all the gambling debt. If you think about it, whenever you undermine like the evil team in these Pokemon games, there must be like an actual cri- like a work crisis afterwards. So many people will lose their jobs. They literally are the biggest employer in every single Pokemon game. Team Rocket has been dissolved, leaving half the Kanto region unemployed. How did taxes work in the Pokemon world? We're making a lot of like kind of earnings here. Thousands of Poke Dollars. Tax collector comes and challenges you to a battle and takes your taxes. <laughs> oh, I love that idea. If I beat you, I don't pay. But if I beat you, you pay 50%. Romanus Park isn't open yet. We're still setting up. Getting Romanus Park ready? I wonder what you can do there. Place for new beginnings. So Pal Park is gone. They've, they've replaced that completely. The whole point of Pal Park was transferring Pokemon back in the originals. RT, your final team is going to be basic as fuck. Well, it's the team. The team I used 15 years ago. If you don't like it, Take it up with 11 year old me to 11 year old RT based. I was 10. Oh my god, I hate that. Dread setting in. The year this came out, I would have got like my Nintendo Wii as well. Oh god, that was the same year. Pokemon Midlife Crisis Diamond and Existential Dread Pearl. Pokemon Crisis and Pokemon Dread. These, these ones are a bit more grim. Oh sweet, the new Pokemon games are out. Anxiety and Depression. Which one are you taking? Oh, I don't know. I kind of want to get both editions so I can trade between them. That way I can catch all the Pokemon. They've run out of colors. <laughs> God, please. Okay, here's the thing I want to check, right? Harbor Inn. I live in hope that at some point, the Darkrai event, which happens in this inn, is brought to the game. There's a special event in the original DS games where you sleep in this inn, you get transported to a different island. I hope to God, if that's not in the game currently, that that is like a downloadable bit of like event or something that they do it. Bring it back. We'll just tough it out with Burby. I 
I actually no, we'll 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 switch over to Jefferson here. Oh no. I forgot he was right here. <laughs> Jefferson, one on five. We don't have anything else on the team. I know you can do it, Jefferson. Oh shit, I hope he doesn't have Torterra yet. I think we're gonna be okay. We have like a significant level advantage here. That's one. Jefferson, we're gonna get pizza tonight if you pull this off. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Jeff. We need you to not die in this fight. If he doesn't have Torterra, then we're fine. It's still a grotto. It's level 37 though. That could be a Torterra. Why isn't it? We're not done yet. Neither me or my Pokemon has given up. This battle isn't lost just yet. I can still make a comeback. Why doesn't he want to evolve his Pokemon? <laughs> Why don't you, lad? What's going on? Sailor Eldritch, Eldritch's house. Sailor Eldritch. I didn't. God, I must not have paid attention to that name back when I was like 11 years old. <laughs> it's a very on the nose reference. Iron Island. I, I like how there's just so many like optional places in this one. Like you don't have to go to any of them, but if you do, there's like stuff to f see and do. You are okay. Your dad. <laughs> You've accepted this quite readily. I'm Riley. I'm a trainer, and yes, it's a bit odd that I would be training here. If you like, we could team up. The wild Pokemon here are restless. Very cool hat. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, this is going to be a bit mean to poor old Riley here. I'm going to use one of the Surf TMs. So sorry, Lucario. He's going to be well hydrated after this. Oh, there's the Steelix. Oh no, Riley, you don't want to kill this. It's no good, it's impossible to aim unless there's only one Pokemon. Oh, Just kill Lucario first. I'm sorry, Riley. Okay, we gotta catch it. That- okay! That- that improves the odds. This will save us a metal coat and a trade. Thank you. That worked out surprisingly well. God is also- God wants to learn superpower. <laughs> oh god, so take down, super fang, sword stance. I feel superpower over crunch. It's perfect. Where did Riley go? Where? Hello? I don't know what to do. Like, should I reload the game? Is that gonna be an issue that he's not here? Riley, I get it now. You're responsible for agitating this Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into mine. He's not here. It's just me. No, he's back. <laughs> I'm so sorry again, Riley. It's just easier to use Surf. Please understand. Let's team up to fight the train in the mine. Partner repeatedly just kills you. The egg has been sent to a box. Spend time with you was very enjoyable. I intend to test my skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. Take care on the way out. He's gone. Riley's been dead for 13 years. Guess we're just gonna find out. Oh, we got the shiny stone. We can actually fight with her now. She's gonna actually have stats. Look at that, 123 special attack. That's pretty good. We just witnessed a real life creepypasta. We kind of did, didn't we? You, If you were a kid and you had no knowledge of what was going on, you'd be probably pr pretty freaked out as to why that guy disappeared. Yeah, so I was, going, I was going through the Iron Island and there was a guy with me and he had a Lucario, but then he went invisible. And then he disappeared and he gave me an egg before he disappeared forever. I think it has something to do with getting Mew. For the gym, we actually do want to get the, the squad together if we can. Uh, but Neri, you're going to be here as honorary member for the time being. You know what, Jefferson? Just just take on the world. Okay, God and Jefferson. And we keep leveling the rest of the team. Sitter and Jefferson does the narrative run. He literally has the power of God and anime on his side. Okay, ah, uh, 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 okay, all right. There's a red boy. Okay, so we, we've definitely missed some. Excuse me. Just need to take your other elevator. Yeah, there we go. Way bigger on the inside compared to most. God battle him. If you don't do the gym too, when you beat the leader, you can't fight him. You'd never learn this man's story about how he can't keep up and he's gonna work on the elevators. Can you really live with yourself knowing that? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Uh, sorry about that. I know you're like the final challenge here. That's Orbis gym badge. I see you've defeated my son. That's no surprise. He still has much to learn. Place my son Rourke. I, Byron, will accept your challenge. It's dad v dad. You lost to his son. This is hopeless. I'm not- no. None of that. 
Jefferson's ready this time. We will not have a repeat. Come on, Jeff. He's doing so good. Hitting three times through it. Getting good use out of Sturdy. Use Metal Claw this time. Uses... Oh! Oh, I didn't know he had that! Jefferson, thanking it like a champ. It's got Thunderbolt! <laughs> Why? <laughs> I do have a plan. You have to trust me. You have to trust me. I'm not gonna heal. Oh, I'm just gonna win. Okay, I was gonna switch into God and use Superpower for the finish. But, uh... <laughs> I guess the tyrant damage kicked in if we win. Defeated a dad. That's the mind badge. Good go. What are you doing? Like, Glad, what are you doing standing out here? You're even tough enough to take a shot at becoming the Pokemon champion. Of course, I'm tougher. So that's not actually going to happen. Anyways, dad, come with me to the library. This book is titled The Sea's Legend. It's a text that was only recently discovered, and its ancient letters were decoded. Would you like to read it? Once upon a time in the East Sea, there was a Pokemon known as the Prince. A brave human asked Pokemon living in the sea to let him, them see the prince. Mantyke, Weasel, and a Quillfish with huge spikes acknowledged the human's bravery. Join them. Together they set off in a boat over the Sunset Street Sea, sailing through the ocean gate stretched over the waves. News of this reached the ears of the prince, who went to meet the brave little party at the Seaside Hollow. Seaside Hollow? Is that... Oh, we're going over here now. Are there more books to read? Have I just missed them? The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. Some Pokemon that evolve and others that don't. It makes them different from each other. Do mature ones evolve into ones that are more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? This is where you three come in. It's said to be mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. If we can obtain data on them, may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. Don, you go to Lake Verity. Lad, I want you to investigate Lake Acu Acuity. That would take you to almost to Snow Point City. Uh, that leaves Dad with Lake Fowler. Take it between Veilstone and Pastoria if memory serves. Oh. Has it stopped? That was quite abrupt. That was a very slight rattle. Where of Aftershocks. Okay. I think they still have the books. I think they're all just up here. Betray not your anger, lest question will come. Weep not with sorrow, or question will draw near. Enjoy and enjoyment come as natural as the very air that is happiness. Let such be blessed by the hand of Master Question. Custom to speak those words. Long ago, when Sinnoh had just been made, Pokemon and humans led separate lives. That is not to say they did not help each other. No, indeed they did. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. Pokemon proposed to the others to always be ready to help humans. It asked the Pokemon be ready to appear before humans, always. Thus, to this day, Pokemon appear to us if we venture into the tall grass. It sounds quite grand. Sometimes they're just trying to attack you. Three Pokemon there were. Into the lakes they dove. Deep, deep, draw no breath. Deeper, deeper, deeper they dove. Suffocating depths they dove. Deeper than deepest they alight, from the lake floor they rise. Bearing with them the power to make fast lands, they rise again. A young man, callow and foolish and innocent, came to own a sword. With it, he smote Pokemon, which gave sustenance with carefree abandon. Those not taken as food, he discarded it with no afterthought. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. Lardis grew bare. A young man seeking the missing Pokemon journeyed afar. Long did he search, and far and wide too, until one he did find. Asked he, why do you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, You bear your sword to bring harm upon us, with claws and fangs we will exact a toll. From your kind we will take our toll, for it must be done. Done it must be to guard ourselves, and for it I apologize. Disguised, the young man shouted his dismay. Having found the sword, I have lost so much. Forged with power, I grew blind to Pokemon being alive. I will never fall savage again, this sword I denounce and forsake. I plead for forgiveness, for I was but a fool. So saying, the young man hurled the sword to the ground, snapping it. Seeing this, the Pokemon disappeared to a place beyond seeing. The original story. In the beginning, there was only a churn and turmoil of chaos. The heart of chaos, where all things became one, appeared an egg. Having tumbled from the vortex, the egg gave rise to the original one. From itself, two beings the original one did make. Time started to spin, space began to expand. From itself again, three living things the original one did make. Two beings wished, and from them, matter came to be. Three living things wished, and from them, spirit came to be. World created, the original one took to unyielding sleep. The egg was before the chicken. 
Confirmed. The egg came first. Look not into the Pokemon's eyes. In but an instant, you'll have no recollection of who you are. Turn home, but how? When there is nothing to remember. Dare not touch the Pokemon's body. In but three short days, all emotions will drain away. Above all, above all, harm not the Pokemon. In a scant seven days, the offender will grow immobile in entirety. Pick clean the bones of Pokemon caught in the sea or stream. Thank them for the meals they provide and pick their bones clean. The bones are as clean as can be, set them free in the water from which they came. Pokemon will return fully flesh and it begins anew. So it's okay! They eat them. Live the Pokemon in the forest. In, a fo in the forest, the Pokemon shed its hide to sleep as a human. Awaken, the human dons the Pokemon hide to their own villages. I'm wondering if that's a Zorak or something like that. Yeah, the Zorak actually disguises as a person. That's kind of neat if that's what it is. There once were Pokemon that became very close to humans. There once were humans and Pokemon that ate together at the same table. It was a time when there existed no differences to distinguish the two. It's a bit of pretext and like kind of interesting for Legends Arceus because I hope that you're going to be able to experience some of these stories. Like maybe you'll beat the guy from Veilstone who actually kills him with a sword. The marriage book. I don't know if the marriage book is here. There, there was one that did say people used to marry Pokemon. <laughs> I think it's been cut. Hey, hey, old dude, old dude and kids. Something big just happened. The same there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom. Like that. Dad, I'm worried about Lake Valor. All right, I have no idea what has taken place. You must find out. Where you go, I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. Try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. You'll be okay, won't you, Dad? You're just going into the impact site. Dad is a grown man. He can take care of himself. Don't tell me what to do. Hey, Lake Valor. God, you can actually see, like, the smoke. Oh, the magic harp! <laughs> Mission is proceeding at a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone for the good of Team Galactic. How did you not notice me? Did a child array at the Team Galactic building in Eterna City? Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child like that. Anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. And the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. Let's go! Uh, thank you! That's very considerate of you. Okay, Toxicroak. I think this can have the ability to avoid water type attacks. But not always. Oh no. Okay, at least we use it now. Uh, Metal Claw. Oh, come on. Oh, we're gonna be in trouble here if Jeff dies. Uh-oh. Go for it, God! Can he do it? Okay, he's gonna need a power buff. God, use sword stance. Don't do it. Don't kill him. Ooh. Do we believe in God? Take him down! Oh, for the love of God! Oh! It's not over yet. It's gonna be even harder. We're really gonna need to believe! Our words are heard. <laughs> Super Fang, get him down to half. Oh no, God's gonna be confused. Come on, God. You gotta hit to work through it. Oh no. Oh, he's hurt himself real bad. <laughs> Come on, God. Snapped out of confusion. God has beaten his first battle. I thought something else was evolving. What? No, God. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. Their power will create an entirely new universe. And now Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. God pulled true for us when we needed him most. Dad, what timing? Team Galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Don. Our mission to stall you. <laughs> Alright, uh, job's a job. Wait, God is simple? What do you mean? Is that his ability? The stat changes the Pokemon receives are doubled. Oh god, that's terrible! <laughs> we taught it superpower! Oh wait, but that means Sword Stance is times four! Oh my god, I didn't realize that. That means he's incredibly powerful even after one Sword Stance. This is gonna be plus six. After two. Considering we had like a minus already. Oh! dead. Oh, that's gonna hurt him, though. Have we been sleeping on him this entire time? Could he be, like, the strongest Pokemon? 
His name is God, so, you know, it's kind of our fault. We missed this. Okay, we no longer need Super Fang because we're gonna be killing in one shot. Half damage. Amateur. I, I know Don's in trouble, but I kind of want to just go to Pastoria City real quick. <laughs> okay, she'll hang in a few minutes. Dad, why are you leaving? <laughs> Superpower might not be good on God. Because Superpower, although thematically appropriate, I think Crunch is gonna be a bit better. God's got a little bit of darkness about him, you know? A little bit of edge. It's an old- it's Old Testament God. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I- okay, yeah, because I keep forgetting. I'm gonna go get Gibble. Don- Don can hold on a while. Gibble's gonna be the only party member in a different baller than God, I guess. I gotta just try catch it from here, I think, uh... Maybe I should have kept Super Fang a moment longer. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Getting quite lucky with the catches. Cornelius. I like Cornelius. I like to imagine this is quite a sophisticated boy. I like to imagine he's in like a proper like top hat, like bow tie. Cornelius, he's gonna join the squad. Yeah, and Cornelius now, oh wait, let's see what nature he is. Be a good one. What the fucking natures? We're gonna catch another Gibble. No, I, I've, for once, I've had enough. We're catching another one. <laughs> Sorry, Cornelius. All this while, Don is like fighting off Team Galactic at the lake. Like, we'll be with you momentarily. Please be a good nature. Docile, I'll take docile. Neutral is better than strictly negative. Here's Cornelia. Sorry, Cornelius. Maybe another day you'll have your chance. Yeah, I know, sorry, sorry. Times of the utmost concern. I'm here now. That's what matters. Jefferson and God can take it from here. How cute, you think you, you can save the day in your little game of hero? Not a chance, not even a teeny one. I think we got this. God, not this again. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Can we delete confusion from the game? <laughs> Alright, see you later, Mars. Cavern appeared here was a cavern where Pokemon the Pokemon Mess Spirit slept. Mess Spirit appeared too, probably to go help its friends. It worked out well for us, it was super easy to catch. Now we've got them all. Mess Spirit the being of emotion, as well the being of willpower, Uxie the being of intelligence. Now that we have all three, you can look forward to what Team Galactic has in store for him. Both he went up against fully fled, full fledged criminals. In fact, you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. What about Lake Acuity? Is Lad safe? Lad's already dead, guys. <laughs> Probably. Look at that. This is our last party member that we're planning to use. Jeremy won. Because it's an actual name. Check his nature. Oh, God. Please tell me it's a good nature. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be a special attack in Riola. Oh, no, God. You can't. Gotta stay as Bidoof. Oh, Cornelia, though. This one's okay. That was very quick to get goodbye. Okay, here's the ironwork. So, yeah, this is completely optional area. Home to molten foundries. It's just cool that this is in the game and it's something you can go out and find. Like... Sword and shield needed areas like this where you could just had stuff to do. Like, look, here's like a little mini zone. Completely optional. Like, stuff like this is some of the coolest in Pokemon because you actually have to go out and explore to find it. It's cool the backgrounds are all done up for it, too. Hugo. Hello, it's not often I get a visitor here. I tried to make the ironworks run better with the moving floor tiles. But no one was happy about it. They said the moving floor made them dizzy. You don't want to listen to me whine. Here's a souvenir. You get an additional Firestone. So there's actually a back entrance here to the Florama Meadow. Look at this, you can actually go in this way. I think there's quite a few items in the meadow. This is where you get a leaf stone. The worst boss and needs to be fired. It is a bit of a wild move to install like moving floor panels. There has to be a health and safety risk, especially considering there's like quite deadly furnaces. Oh, we gotta use the watch again. Reminder that this exists. I hate the implementation of this watch. Can I just say, that there was a quality of life feature in this, even for Platinum, by the way, where you had like a, you didn't just have one button, you had a go back button as well, that you could use. Like that in itself made it so much easier to use. Is the watch better on an undocked mode? Nope, it's not. It's, it functions exactly the same. Okay, so this is the Feebass room, is it? 
Now we've got an important decision to make. Do we carry on through the mountain or spend the next two hours fishing on this lake? Gotta spend at least a few minutes. Shiny Feebas, please God, no. If you find the spot where Feebas spawns, is it that spot forever? Only for the day. Jesus. And there's 500 tiles here. Yeah. That's rough. This is... This is sad. <laughs> We're gonna be here a while. Last encounter, you guys pick a tile. Up oh, top right. Okay. Strong top right presence here. Sense it might be here. Here we go. Shiny Feebas. We did it. Oh, shit. That was really quick. That took no time at all. He's only level 26 still, so he's got a, like a bit of more training to do. Gotta keep him in the party. Good job, Jeremy. You now have access to the Lucky Egg. It's in the underground in the upper left corner's wild Pokemon zone. Oh, right, that's um... Okay, I should probably go get that then, shouldn't I? Is that just in the underground? That seems incredibly broken. A lucky egg, if you've never heard of one, it doubles experience. But like, normally, to get the lucky egg, it's one of the rarest items in the game. It only has a 5% chance of being held by a Chansey. And Chanseys typically tend to be a very rare Pokemon. So they're just, like, impossibly hard to find. God. You're killing me. Last, we have a little squad going in to go get the lucky egg together. This is in here. Icy cave. Oh shit, yeah, it's just right here. That's kind of incredible. Oh, you just find rock climb here now. Okay. Is that where it always was? That feels a bit unceremonious. Rock climb's just out on the ground. <laughs> I dropped it here. The guy somewhere on the route who claims he lost the HM on the route somewhere. Oh, okay, right. Oh, uh, yeah, this is him. You found it, but I'd already given up on the TM for lost and you found it. Here's to keep, my friend. Make good use of it. I like your honesty, though. Let me reward you with this. Oh, the icicle plate. Text engraved. The rightful bearer of a plate draws from the plate it holds. He found something of potentially historical value, just gives it to a kid. <laughs> Does this region not have, like, a museum or something? A bit out there. There's only one for Cole. That's a bit grim, isn't it? A Pokemon called Medicham. Oh, this is the one... She gives the Haunter an Everstone so you don't get ghastly. I remember her. It is a way of getting the Everstone, though. We could stop God from evolving forever. All right, I'm gonna get a Gengar. Did my Haunter turn into something else? Just kidding. I made it hold something that prevents it from evolving. Okay, God. It's finally time. We have the power. From my understanding, there's a potential to actually soft lock the game in this specific gym. Uh, so what I'm gonna just do as a precaution is turn off autosave. And I'm just gonna save before I go in. Apparently you can get trapped a certain way in, with the snow. Which is real fucking weird that that's still in the game, but it is what it is. I also need to battle the trainers, they don't... My oh, man. Thank you. I could probably use lettuce a lot here, actually. There seems to be a lot of water types. I think we can also just break bird this down. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Gotta get this guy. <laughs> it, like, almost lets you up. Ah, ice puzzles. <laughs> it really is a lot of this, isn't it? I don't understand why we rated worst gym five years in a row. <laughs> You think they have to have, like, a gym review committee? Okay, Brock, like, what have you done for your gym? Well, I have two small children. Stand and watch, and you can walk around them. Okay. How does that test the trainer? Okay, Misty, what's your idea for a gym? I have a swimming pool. Great. Anything else? No. Uh, Lieutenant Surge, what have you done for your gym? I stuck two switches in bins. Like, some of them really go all out. Like, dragon-type gym, it's like, holy shit, you mount a dragon and you control it. Like, it moves left and right. Like, you have to ride up the gym and stuff like that. And there's, like, weird elevator stuff in some of them, too. Other ones, it's the garden. Okay, the path is clear. Gotta get back to the start. Oh, so this is how you can... You get... Why'd I do that?
I just love the ice puzzle so much. There we go. You know, I want to see if God himself can do this one. Pokemon fashion romance. It's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose. What does this have to do with battling? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Evasiveness has risen sharply. First attack has gotten through. That's unfortunate. Evasiveness is now maximum. God, avoid the move. <laughs> it begins. Okay, God, we're gonna give you a thing of milk for the road. And then you sweep the team. Okay, headbutt. Take it down. Okay, Metachab is super effective against us. This is nothing God can't handle. You avoid the move. <laughs> Get him, God. Own class is trying the buff. God's gonna kill it. Instant KO. Okay, Abomina Snow is the scary one for God. Headbutt. Oh, it survived! <laughs> we just need to live a hit. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh! <laughs> God toughed it out so you wouldn't feel sad, but the hail's gonna get us! No! God! God came close to his moment of triumph. He needs more training. Seventh badge unlocked. I honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake. Become the Pokemon champion. Dream on, little kid. But ew, it's so cold here. Go back to the Veilstone HQ. I want to see time coming to our HQ in Veilstone. Now, if you'll excuse me. It was you that took my Clefairy away. My partner called a quits and went back to his hometown. I don't know anything about any storage key. Okay, thank you. Okay, we don't have Burby, we don't have Jefferson. The new team needs to take on Team Galactic. We're still overleveled. Pokemon Challenge beat the game using only your fists. Some of them just seem like kind of awful and not fun as far as Pokemon Challenges go. You can only capture Pokemon in, Pokemon in balls that match their color. That's a fun one. <laughs> Pokemon, but you can only use shinies. We did that. We just happened to use one shiny. Pokemon, but you stay home and spend time with your mum. <laughs> Pokemon, but you know, make a nice wholesome meal for my parents because I love them. But it's still Pokemon and it's like, Hey gamers, welcome back. Craziest Pokemon challenge yet. Why well, make a loving meal for my family? Here we go. What kind of crazy antics are gonna happen? So today we're making a Sunday roast. Uh, I have a Pokemon on the Switch. I've just kind of left it on there. Um, just kind of playing when I get a chance outside of like, you know, blazing the turkey. Okay gamers, hope you enjoyed this crazy episode. Dude, they're actually hurting us again. Never thought I'd see the day. You know, I'm just gonna do it. God can take it. God avoided it, thanks God. So good. We're gonna go for that again. God, he's gonna go for a headbutt on the cat too, just in case. Anking it like a champ. Renelia has gotten very strong very quick. Oh my god. We've made the game easy again. It was nice that brief bit of close battling we had. Those times are now behind us. Why can't they just use doors? Because like it's the same amount of space. They've just made it very difficult to navigate. It'd be a nightmare for the employees. What's the point of the hallway there? Yeah, I don't know. It was an, it, they have a hallway to get to the other teleporter. To just get to the supply room. There's nothing there. Yet you have teleport technology. It's so poorly constructed, this building. I see. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. Cool hardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. I just named Boss now. I already know it's Cyrus. You introduced yourself earlier. First gym die guy. <laughs> Gives a thousand bits. Thanks, first gym die guy. Appreciate it. That Uxie Vesper at Azov, correct? You want to save them. You no longer have any need for them. I'm finished with them. Heartaches to save them to go right ahead. I could care less. That means you care a little bit. Compelled to come here by such vacuous sentimentality. It'll make you regret paying heed to your heart. Got a deadpan stare. And only three Pokemon to stop us with. Come on, God! Oh no! He saw right through our plan! <laughs> Can't buff him up. Oh, I can still kill it. That's fine. 
Cyrus must be really concerned because like his entire organization has been defeated by this one Bidoof. Dodge it, God! <laughs> and now he too is fallen victim to the Bidoof. Level 43, it's a bit higher level. Not using the stab type attack, that's unfortunate. It's dead. God has claimed another victim. <laughs> I see, you are indeed strong. The base of your power is your compassion toward Pokemon. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. Like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. That's why I have abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. That doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. Here's a master ball. <laughs> I remember raising an eyebrow at this, even as a kid. It's like, but I, I've just defeated your organization. Here is the ultimate catch in the vice. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild. Including the box art legendary I'm trying to obtain right now. It is not anything I require. <laughs> Unlike you traders, I did not make Pokemon my friends or partners. But you just, you just battled with- Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools, but you just- Wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the warp panel ahead. I'm off to Mount Coronet. That's correct, Mount Coronet, where you and I first met. Okay. Oh, we have another commander here. Alright, God, time for round two. Let's just give you a, yeah, a top up there. Hey, okay, one more. Commander, what the fuck is your hair? <laughs> I see he's gone for the horn style haircut. God has taken a bite out of him. God, you can expel the poison again. Ooh. He makes water into wine. Fine, do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. That's the button that machine to set him free. No, I'm good. The boss crafted a red chain from the crystals he took from the three Pokemon. The red chain is what he needs to shackle something on Mount Coronet. That's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there. <gasps> but Neri no longer hates us. Finally. There we go. Got a lot, honey. Well, let's box them forever. <laughs> you guys are certain this is the dead end. It feels like this is the main way. Why is there so many trainers guarding the potential dead end? Trust us. Okay. They all got lost. Another playground room. <laughs> what if this is a place to take a break and you just invade them? <laughs> Everyone here is just like on their coffee break. It's like, no, please. We get paid minimum wage. We get paid minimum wage and you beat them in battle and steal all their money. Oh god, do you think that's why they give less money than the commanders? They simply don't have as much. Grunts are poor. Uh, I think this is the last snowy bit of the place, isn't it? Do I need to catch an bomb in the snow here? Okay, so we gotta we gotta search for a moment. Twenty percent. There it is. Wasting no time because everyone is like absolutely screaming it. <laughs> Hope that's what you want it. <laughs> Wait, no, <laughs> sussy Barack. <laughs> Please, God, no. You've shaped us, Dad. You've made us who we are. God, I hope I get it right with my second child. So, this spot right here, this is where an Arceus event would happen. If you bring the Azura Flute here, in the original games, and what happens with the stairs, is instead of leading up just there, the stairs go into the sky. And it's seriously cool. Something huge is about to go to happen, I think. Maybe, right? Don't meddle around. Of course you're going to, aren't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down to the ground. Yeah, so there's an old event like that that can happen. Uh, but did you know there's a second Arceus event in Platinum? It happens, I believe it's in Orbro City. If you take Arceus with you down, I think into like the mine in that town, there's like a hiker there who knows about Arceus. And he tells you some things. I can't remember the exact details of it, but he just goes into it a little bit more. There he is. Now all will end, and everything will begin. This red chain I will pry open the portal to another dimension. Command it, you unleash your power for me. The Alga, the mystical Pokemon, and the master of time. Don't do it, evil Funko Pop! You don't know what you're unleashing on this world! There he is! It's 
to bring about the destruction of all things. With everything gone, there will be no fighting and no strife. And you feel time distorting. Only I can choose to stop it. Reality is collapsing around itself. This is the mythical Pokemon that created Sinnoh. No, it's not. The new world in which I am the ruler of all things it shall become a deity. I think someone has a little bit of a god complex. Lad is here. Hold on a second. Don't you start the party without me. Please tell me you evolved your starter. No, he's got a Munchlax. He's already kind of messing up. I'm just gonna... Uh, let's test what has Levitate. Oh, no. Sorry, lad. I misclicked. Why doesn't anyone evolve the Pokemon? What level are the Bronzors too? 41. Yeah, they evolve at 40. Like, what is it? <laughs> what evolution that they don't seem to understand? Okay, Bidoof guy. <laughs> yeah, but God has to be kept in his perfect form. Poor Munchlax. They really hate this thing. <laughs> the sad thing is, like, I'm gonna use Earthquake next turn. I'm so sorry. Get through the confusion. It's okay if Munch Munchlax is dead already. Yeah, it's fine. Oh god, they're actually quite strong. Level 46. We might be in trouble if Cornelia faints here. We have to save God for the final battle. Jesus. Poor lad, his Pokemon are being annihilated. There goes another one. Lad, we gotta talk about you evolving your Pokemon. You've no excuse here. Please tell me you have a Torterra. Okay, I'm gonna I'm just using Earthquake here. I need to get Skun Tank down. And we're gonna also just cycle Lad's Pokemon here. Get it in attack. You did good. Entire team is dying. <laughs> Pony tap level 42 with a boss level 40. I'm I'm killing this because I want to see if he's actually got a Torterra. I'm not interested in killing the opponent. I need to make sure he's actually raised his Pokemon properly. That okay, we are going to need to kill Heracross. Oh, we're not gonna get to see. <laughs> that one doesn't evolve, so I don't know if that one counts. Oh, you did it, lad. You really need to raise your Pokemon properly. Appreciate the heal, but we gotta have some words. You didn't learn much from the trainer school. Fantastic, beautiful. The creation of a new galaxy. A new world. What? Oh. Here's Uxie. Here's Mesprit. Here's Zelf. Casting a magic spell to help us. Nice. I would mess with the Pokemon of Lake Verity appear by your side. Never mind, it's all destroyed. My galaxy is gone. I won't allow this. I will capture those three again and craft another red chain. Before I even think about that, I'm going to completely crush you. Are we just gonna ignore the god of time, like standing behind us right now? Okay, Cyrus Battle 2. Okay, so the plan is to get into God. We need to make this as humiliating as possible for this man. Evasiveness fell. Let's restore it. This oh, this might be a losing battle. Okay, uh, let's just use Sword Stance. Critical hit. Unfortunate. I think this one is more dangerous, so we gotta fight against it. Don't get a crit. God is dead again. This is gonna put us in the spot of Botter. How do we actually take down his team? We'll figure it out. Come on, Jeremy. We don't need God. Air cutter, we resist it thanks to steel. Jesus. Why is everything critting? Okay, pop stun spore on it. Great. Fantastic. Oh my god. But that's Ice Fang as well, so I can't switch into Cornelia. I'm using a max revive on God if it comes to it. This is looking grim. <laughs> oh no. Wishcash, you you gotta be fodder for a moment. We need to get God back. God's in a bit of a pinch. That's okay. 
evasiveness has been increased. The evasiveness is doing nothing. <laughs> Take him down. He's using his super potion. He already used a full restore. He must only have one of those. I thought you like have a like a multi-million dollar corporation. It actually hit us. Now it's God's turn. Golbot that has evolved with love. Let's kill it. God's dodging. Finish the job, God. Oh, we'll submit. Become a deity one day and I'll make the ultimate mine. How you doing, Dialga? Good to see you still here. Go on, Dad. Face up to Dialga. It's just the God of Time. Listen to its heart. Understand its thoughts. Garchomp acquired. This is the squad to take on time itself. One of these is not like the others. Here we go. The alga appeared. Reality itself is collapsing around us. <laughs> God. Come on, God. Oh, he started strong. God, no! <laughs> okay, we might need something more powerful. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's the most we need to weaken it. Oh, we almost got it! <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, time to get that switch, we need it. <laughs> hey, stun sport. There's no way to rid itself of status. God himself has it, we gotta catch this one. Gotta believe. We're using Premier Balls. What's wrong with them? Doesn't matter. Like, the po most important thing with capturing Pokemon is, like, style. Style. Pokeball fit for God. Take that. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Shmoopy. I've lived for 60 years, but I've never been trills like this. The last time, the professor did a lot of research. I'm very concerned about you, Dad. So he came out to a place as treacherous as this. Dad, I'm so glad you're safe. Let's go home. Oh, I think... Yeah, Adamant Orb. So that's a special item specifically for Dialga. What's with the natures? I'm so sick of this. The game hates me. Walk together. God, it's like I've just got like a big pet dog. Shmoopy has a goofy expression. <laughs> a lovable new pet who also flies through the air. Oh, that's menacing. <laughs> okay, I think from here, as far as trainer battles in the main game are concerned, we use the main team because we're going to need all the experience we can get. We have to actually level up Jeremy quite a bit before we get to the Elite Four. We're gonna have some hard fights ahead of us. I'm not so concerned about like the Pokedex, although I have been trying to complete it. That's the thing, I say I'm not so concerned about the Pokedex. I've got 128 Pokemon in the Pokedex. I also started finding like a bunch of outer region fossils. Anorit and Aerodactyl of all things showed up. Trade evolutions are all done. And I also caught the entire unknown alphabet, so you guys will get to see that. Uh, this is the Diggin Maniac Cave, and he actually makes progress Diggin for every single unknown you catch. My digging punched me through to this weird place. I'd say you can thank me for being a rune maniac. So if you catch all of the unknown, he breaks through, and this takes you back into the Solacean runes. Question mark, exclamation mark. These two are the rarest unknown in this game. You get punctuation unknown. And their unique characteristic, like, outside of just resembling that, is their eye is half shut. But we got them! They look annoyed that you have found them. They probably are a bit miffed. They were holding out, like, pretty well up until now. There we go. Let's shiny hunt the whole alphabet. That sounds like torture. 
Oh my god, that would be the worst thing on the planet because you'd only have a 5% chance of catching like each form of an unknown. That has to be like the hardest shiny collection like possible. But that is all the unknown. Uh, next up, we have legendary Pokemon. So a cave has spouted up on the island here. And here is Mesprit. Mesprit flew off somewhere. Dad, why don't you chase after Mesprit? To me, it seemed as if it wanted to play with you. If you were to use the American Map app on your Poketch, oh no, you'd be able to track the movements of Pokemon. Okay, so you can see the flashing marker. That's where Mesprit is currently. Uh, if you fly, Mesprit's uh, location will change. Every time you change route, Mesprit's location will also change. See? It's up here. It's on the move. <laughs> Mesprit, please. Here we go. Oh, we get some bopping music too. I could just go quick ball, but the nice thing with this is you can still use the quick ball, but when you encounter it again, you just weaken it first because it's going to run. Oh no. <laughs> this might take a while. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up. He's going down. He's really far away again. Okay. There we go. Paralyzed now. Okay, it's paralyzed now though, so that's really good. So it'll retain paralysis uh, while it travels. And this is the faster way of hunting this guy too. I haven't even got to the point where I can try to throw a ball at him yet. So we need to weaken it. One sludge bomb. Okay, that's pretty good. We're good. We're weakening it. <laughs> that is no... That's why we save. Okay, let us just don't get a crit this time. You don't want to be praised. Dazzle. Okay, so Mesprit, that's as weak as we can get it, and it has a status condition too. Okay, mean look. It can no longer escape. Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, see you in a moment, Mesprit. <laughs> Now we can be cheeky. You mean cheesy, right? Listen, everyone did this on the Nintendo DS back in the day, right? L, R, select, star all at once brings you back to title screen. It's what we did. It's a bit different now. You press the home button and close the game. Same concept. Come on. Thank you. Mesprit has been caught. Uh, that's one. Let's go for two. Sludge bomb. Oi. Oh my god. Yeah, hopefully it just doesn't attack us. It, 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 it seems quite gung-ho about, like, just inflicting status constantly. Keep doing that. Just let me catch you. Right now. Why don't you just use the Master Ball? Do you not understand how a Master Ball works? Master Ball, you have to save it for that one special encounter and you literally never use it because you're too scared to. Until like you accidentally throw it out in a ponytail. That's what you save the Master Ball for. Especially the ponytail. It has to be like some stupid Pokemon that you accidentally clicked it on. Like, I, like in Sun and Moon, I think I used my Master Ball on like the, the monkey. I think in another one I threw it out in like a Goldeen. So like, now he just never use the Master Ball, just in case. This is it! Only he's gonna live this one. <laughs> no. Okay, let's just bring a Dark-type. Oh, this, is, this might take a while to get it into range. <laughs> Thanks, Stunky. How you doing, Ooxie? Now we'll keep Stunky hang handy. Uh, let's go again. Legendary trio. Keep just patience by only using beast balls to catch it. I'll catch this one in the Pokeball. I could do that. Default Pokeball. Not even like a special like Ultra one or something or a Dusk Ball. 32 Pokeballs. <laughs> I 
I will use all of these in an attempt to catch it. Already got two shakes on it. This is purely out of spite. <laughs> Just use a Master Ball. Why don't you use a Master Ball? God, it's taken so long. Why don't you use the Master Ball? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh, Stunky wants to... Uh, you know... Stunky's a funnier nickname. We already have your evolution. You stay as you are. Okay, that's Uxie done. That was the fastest of the lot. <laughs> if anyone happens to have a fabled Feebas, I'll put up the bounty of a Munchlax for that one specifically. Even getting one and it, like, is hard enough. But then if you have the goodness, like, in your heart to actually breed more of them, then, you know, that deserves a Munchlax, I feel. Nation, how's it going? Would you like to trade? I... I, I I can't see what they're offering, can I? If I just offer that? Oh shit, a Chimchar! Oh, thank you! Jesus! Yeah, that's incredibly kind. It's in a Dusk Ball. How's it in a Dusk Ball? How do you get Chimchar in a Dusk Ball? You can catch all the stars in the underground. Oh, okay! Oh god, what level, that's, what level is that Chimchar then? I'm gonna have to check that. Flameo, thank you very much. That's wonderful. That's level 62, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why is that so high? That's stronger than God right now. Hello there. We've got a guitarist. Ash catch them themselves. Okay, thank you for the bonds, mate. But uh, Trico, okay, that's it's having an identity crisis. That's fine. A mystery egg. <laughs> you know, I'm curious. Yes. All right. This is a real gamble. <laughs> We're looking for a pearl exclusive or what's in the box? The box. The box. Give me the box. The thing is, I don't know what could even be in this. Like this could be like say the turtwig or something we need. We're not gonna know for a while. <laughs> uh, Niels, how's it going? Drifloon, thank you very much. Cute little balloon. It's cute until you read his Pokedex entry. Let's offer up that one. A Turtwig, thank you very much. Okay, I think it's just it's just Heracross and Feebas then, isn't it? Those are the last ones. Was this another caught one? This is in an Ultra Ball. Oh god, this is gonna be like level 60 or something again, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a level 59 Turtwig, Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, man. Jess, lovely to meet you. Uh, you can, you can in theory, get another Munchlax from that, so I could just say Snorlax and Munchlax is the last two. I, don't, I think that's, that's pretty good. Okay, wait, wait, wait. All right. Save yourself the effort here. Thank you very much. Munchlax Bounty. The level one. Yep, so it's Breed it as well. Thank you very much, Jess. I don't suppose you've got a Heracross. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you to everyone we traded with. I really do appreciate it. I hope, like, with the things I've offered, there's at least something there you can use. What's in the fucking egg? I'm really curious about that now. I'm just gonna start running some laps. Bring whatever's in the egg to beat Cynthia. <laughs> but like, if if we take on board the egg, that means we gotta bench God. And uh, I don't think we're willing to do that. We get the egg in the Hall of Fame. I don't think eggs show up in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, behold our new league champion. He's got two eggs, a ditto, two Bidoofs he was breeding. And like one level 92 Empoleon. His content is godly. I, I need to know what's in the mystery egg. I really need to know. Okay, here we go. What is it? Mystery egg. It's a Piplup. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, thank you very much. That's very sweet. It's actually a good nature, unlike Jefferson. Okay, final gym. Oh, it's the gear one. I remember this. That button looks like it's painted on. Oh, we do have a ground-type move on Lucario as well. I don't know how effective this is. Especially because it was supposed to be a special Lucario. Yeah, that's kind of... That's kind of rubbish. Child labor. Yeah, like, she looks like she should still be in school. I'm not sure why she's here. She's on an internship. I don't, I don't know if you do internships, though, when you're, like, 10. No, she's not even 10. She's probably, like, 7 or something. She's gaining exposure from popular gym leader influencers. I still want to see in, like, the next Pokemon game, like, the evil team is just, like, vloggers or something. Like, TikTokers. It's just the next logical step. Team Tocket. <laughs> I'm Volkner, the gym leader. Say I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh, but... Anyway, I guess we better get this done. <laughs> Hope you're the trainer who will make me remember how fun it is to battle. He's just kind of bored and, like, miffed. Okay, Earthquake. Oh, his Raichu has Surf! He's got the- he had the Surf and Pikachu. Bless him. I didn't expect that. <laughs> it's dead. Uh, here's his Octillery as well. 
Not an electric type gym leader. Uh, just keep using Earthquake. Good artillery. Also not an electric type. He's got an ambi pump. It's also dead. Uh, his final one actually is an electric type. He has a Luxray. He has like an Electivire on that in the Platinum ones. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Good gym. Got me beat. You, you desired the no way your Pokemon battled for you. I even felt thrilled during our match. That was a very good battle. Like, Volkner, you didn't do anything. How was that exciting? That was the most fun I've had battling in a battle since. I don't know when. Also maybe excited to know you and your team will keep battling the greater heights. This is your eight gym badge. You've earned this. Oh, I haven't been polishing them. <laughs> we gotta just go on to the next route and get Mantike as the last Pokemon to catch in the wild for us. We also get to see a cameo trainer. Jasmine's here again. Uh, you might remember her from Pokemon Heart Gold. He's the sixth gym leader there. My name is Jasmine and I'm a gym leader. Oh, I'm sorry, not the gym leader of this city. I'm a gym leader in the Johto region. Uh, um, it'd be nice if you knew about the Johto region. Oh, that's the city's gym badge. You must be very good. Uh, um, please take these two. PM 99s. We now have access to Waterfall. Each of those technical machines contain Waterfall. He's waterfall from the Poketch, you'll be able to get to the Pokemon League. I don't know how to say this, but good luck. Suddenly realized I was watching a stream and not a VOD have some bits. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how that happens. But hello, it's good to see you. Wait, he, he just replied. Wait a minute, he's real? Everyone here is just a paid actor. There's only one person here actually watching the stream. Mark. Oh shit, Mantike. I scared someone there. Hey, in the paid actor, you're falling behind on the script? <laughs> Alright, you're saying the same lines again. We did this joke. Come on now, we're two pages ahead. Yeah, let me just flip ahead. I just want to see how the stream ends. Oh, cool. Shiny of that, really? What a twist. And God dies again. Spoilers. Are we on page five or seven because I'm still on the dead God joke? Well, that's on most of the pages. We've been recycling that joke a fair bit, in fairness. Beauty stat. We gotta level this up with some Poffins. God, I hope I have enough berries for the Poffins. So, Chesto and a Wiki. Like, a Citrus. And like, a Persim. Will that be like a very dry Poffin? Poffin time. Wait, how do I make it? Oh god, you gotta do it with the thumbsticks. You know that one Mario Party minigame that says with the tug-of-war rope? Don't twirl it too much. Or, uh, like, and I had to put, like, a disclaimer on it so you wouldn't hurt yourself. This is basically this game. Rich Poffin. Oh, this is, this is painful without the touch screen. This doesn't feel good. <laughs> okay, here you go, Feebas. Just chuck that at you. That means it's maxed out, then, if it's sparkling, does it? Okay. Yeah, so we just need to level it up. There we go. I think with that, that's the uh, that's the Pokedex done. Other than just Weavile, uh, Victory Road, the gang's all here. Uh, we are gonna clear Victory Road and fight the Pokemon League. Save that one. You only get like one of those like, in the game. One of what though, RT? What? What do you only get one of? You gonna say the name of it? Say the name of it. PP. Up. Oh. Crowd goes wild. He said it. He said the line. Ah, so that's where we are in the script. <laughs> I think this is the last trainer before the exit. Top level trainers gather around this place naturally. Go so far as to call it the ideal place to train with the best. A gibble. You made it all this way with a fucking gibble. Like eight gyms to feed it. End of victory road. Has he only got gibble? This, this is quite disappointing. Pokemon League. Ahead. What did he say anything? Pinnacle of Trainerdom. That's not even a word. Look at God just like looking at his family here. Brother, assist the trainer. It will please me. Goodbye, brother. Yeah, if you look down here. You can see more land. Oh ho ho, I wonder if there's anything down there. Oh, here he is! He's running late! Hold it, don't go off without me! Challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here too. See, he was more worthy of making the challenge with a battle. The final fight against Pokemon Trainer Lad. Oh, he's got a Staraptor now. He's moved up in the world. 
Alright, we're gonna do a practice run for the Cynthia fight. Step one. Step two. Speed. <laughs> Pitiful. Sword stance. God is dodging the attacks as well. He can't even hit us. Insignificant. Doesn't matter why he's hurting us. Begin the sweep, God. Oh shit! Oh, he's still alive! He's still alive! Oh! Oh no! I hope that's the only sash he has. Thank god he doesn't have a quick attack. Okay, rapid dash. You can take it, god. Bonk it down. <laughs> Torterra. Strongest move in the game. It's always just headbutt. <gasps> oh no! Wait, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Strongest move in the game. Flinch in the face of god. <laughs> oh, we might not one shot the Snorlax. <laughs> this guy is a tank. No. <laughs> God's getting sleepy. He might wake up in time. Can we get a one turn wake up? Is that possible? Oh no. I think this is it for God. <laughs> no, he's still in it. He refuses to go. He woke up. <laughs> Come on, God. <laughs> you can't beat God. <laughs> Finish the job! He did it! Got a sweep lad clean. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that works. I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League. Oh, he's reconsidered. Can't beat a Bidoof. Alright, see you later, lad. Let me confirm that you are qualified. I'm gonna examine my badges. Jesus, they're so dusty. Well, you haven't taken care of these at all. You really don't care about this challenge, do you? Let's go. This is it. Can God beat the Elite Four? Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four, it's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain, I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challenges here in this room? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Pretty plain room, Aaron. First one, Dust Tox. Uh, is that a special hitter or physical? I think that's special, but I don't think we need to bother with that here. I think we just go straight for the speed. Toxic. Right, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I think God can heal through it. Headbutt. Th oh, that didn't kill. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, he healed off the poison. First one down. Heracross next. If we don't kill this in one shot, this is actually quite scary. But that's not gonna happen here. Smite him. Beautifly next. Bonk it down. It's becoming more powerful. A okay, Vespaquin. Bonk it. It lived that one. And it's got a cheeky heal. Hey, Drapion, final one, level 57. <laughs> not yet. No, not like this. Finish the job, God. You're only delaying the inevitable. It's over, Aaron. First Elite Four has been defeated. God, oh, no, because we don't have the Everstone. We gotta stop him again. <laughs> God, please. <laughs> We're going for it. Round two. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. Aha, I'm Berta. I have a preference of ground-type Pokemon. Why would you show this old lady how much you've learned? Okay, round two. Go on, God. God turned... <laughs> God nodded towards us. He knows. Toxic? That's fine. 
Waste it move. Okay. Earthquake. That might hit kind of hard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Do we believe in God? And that he will cure himself of the poison before he dies? Do we play this game? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Alright, I can I can pop a quick full restore. Here. We don't believe in God. <laughs> okay, headbutt. Ragsire might need two. He's a bulky boy. God's just dodging. One down. Like, the Elite Four still haven't seen the rest of our team. They have no idea what we've got hiding in the wings. All we need is God right now. Head smash. That's gonna hurt you too, I just, uh! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. God is dead. We should have believed in him. I think we hurt his feelings. Just as predicted in the script. Okay, Jefferson should be able to clean up a bit here. Golem is probably gonna hurt us. Yeah, he's gonna hurt us. Uh oh. Ooh. What a stroke of luck. What you get for sturdy. There we go. There we go. Berta's down. We did. God did die that fight, unfortunately. Could have gone better. Hey, yo, trainer. Going down, Flint. Hypnosis! <laughs> of all things! He dodged it! Which is impressive considering he's asleep. Alright, let's push our luck here a bit. Oh! I think one of his Pokemon is a Drift Limb, so we gotta deal with that thing's ability too. Did it get two crits in a row? What the fuck? <laughs> God's really struggling. Just, just Earthquake. Maybe God isn't all powerful. We will turn it around come the final fight. Don't worry. Just slice away at it. I never knew that Lapidy is actually fire type. Wow. <laughs> so is Steelix. Steelix. Actually weak to fire. Here's his fourth fire type Pokemon. Driftblim. It's actually tragic. <laughs> In Platinum, they do give him a full fire type team. But it uses literally every fire type Pokemon in the region that's available, I believe, which is five. But they do at least give him a full team. Should have given him two Monfernos. Oh, we might actually live this now, because I didn't expect him to heal. The sash is broken. Ah, no, it's, it's just an Inferno. There we go. That last one wasn't a fire type Pokemon, if you look closely. It's actually a fighting type. Okay, round four. Ah, you timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. You're clearly in the middle of it, Lucy, and you're not finished fooling anyone. Okay, double team first. Have special defense resist. Now we're gonna make us impossible to track down. I thought I was impossible to hit. Yep. Working well so far. Double team again. One more time. We're going max for it. Impossible to hit. It's working really well so far. Okay, one more attack buff. God is at maximum power. We've got him now. It's a maximum power. <laughs> did he use Reflect? Yeah, he did. Okay, uh, that, that explains it. That explains it. Yeah. No, that's clearly out of God's hands there. Now we're good. Okay, we can take him from here. I really hope so, at least, because Metacham's actually kind of scary. We're good. Angry Hamster defeats the Elite Four. <laughs> He's got one of them so far. He got the rival, too. It would be nice if we can get, like, a second win under God's belt here. No sash. Thank you. Uh, this one is just psychic. Yeah, just use crunch. Take a chunk out of it, God. Last one. <laughs> we got him. The warm-up is now complete. Now it's time for the real fight. The Elite Four has been defeated. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on. Step through the doorway to your final battle. All right. This is it. The final fight for God himself. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet, I'm truly grateful. 
Together, you and your Pokémon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned. I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokémon League champion, I accept your challenge. Here we go! Hardest fight in the game. Spirit on for the Pokedex, thank you! Welcome to the drug fight. <laughs> We're powering him up. Sucker punch failed. Okay, defense is increased. Evasiveness. We need three doses of this. God's avoidant. We need speed. This is like Thanos acquiring like the Infinity Stones, except it's a Bidoof. Like, every one, like stone is just like entering Bidoof's body. It's like he's just becoming more and more powerful. Energy is coursing through his veins, and now we need attack. He's almost at full health from all the time we spent powering him up. Okay, this is maximum power, God. We are ready. <laughs> that didn't even kill. Get, get, get crunching, God! There we go. Two of her. Going straight into the carrier. That's actually kind of bad. I don't... Oh no, I just gotta headbutt it. Hurry. Oh, this is scary. Definitely gonna live one. Oh! He's okay! <laughs> That's what maximum special defense do. Did a scary amount of damage. That's plus six special defense. Okay, Gastrodon. Headbutt. Everything on our team is so bulky. At least we're getting some free healing here. Okay, headbutt. We're like killing the Avengers one by one. Another one just died there. Okay, Rose right next. This one should be a freebie. Roserade's very frail. There we go. Thanos almost has all of the stones. We have to stop him. I am inevitable. <laughs> Look at him go. Burn. Wait, what? It has a flame orb. Okay. Why has it got a flame orb? Oh, don't burn me. Is that to, like, prevent against poison? Of all things. It's kind of mad. Oh, no, it's got marble scale, doesn't it? Well, there's the full restore as well. Well, I de guess the flame orb is uh, worn off now. Actually, no, it's still holding it. It'll get burnt again, won't it? Look, it's extra defense now. Well, we got flinch. Oh, Cynthia, you can... can keep this up all day. He's gonna break through. Padoof will overcome this. She's popping every full of a store she's got. Recover. Oh my god. She's stolen. Oh no. Can I not? Uh, if I get the flinches, I can do enough damage. If I get the flinches, I can do enough. Thanks for that. Oh my god. Would you stop? <laughs> Can't delay it forever. He will break through! <laughs> oh my god! Doesn't want to die! <laughs> Headbutt! There's the flinch. Thank you. Oh my god, that took a while! <laughs> Can't remember the last I was put in a corner like this. Finish the job, God. God's dodging. <laughs> you should have gone for the head. No! <laughs> God has redeemed himself. 
Cynthia has been defeated by Amir Badoof and a lot of drugs. <laughs> I can't stress how many drugs were involved in this fight. No, you still don't get to evolve, God. No, no, stop that. Stop that. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You both passion and calculate in coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step onto the lift. Dad, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. A child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crown and achievement. Dad, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. <laughs> yes, you probably shouldn't, son. Step this way, please, Dad. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. Are you good for nothings? Finally gonna show your old man the respect he deserves. Dad, welcome to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Time to record your names. You and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew at you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Dad's finally accomplished. Teams all here. We did it. Got a Bidoof and then the most generic, like, Gen 4 team that everyone uses. And I wouldn't have it any other way. League champion, congratulations. Burb was redeemed as well. Burby has avenged him. That's the Pokemon League. I, we've more or less completed the Pokedex too. Dad came home. <laughs> the best ending possible. Fuck, I forgot the milk. I think we get Hall of Fame ribbons on everything now. Yes! Is it not champion ribbon? God forever has a mark. How you doing, God? God was surprised that you suddenly spoke to it. Shit, you're not supposed to make contact like that. Bravo, Dad. You've recorded all the Pokemon of Sinnoh in your Pokedex. This will help me measure you with my studies on Pokemon evolution. God, he's back. Been a very long time. I tell you, Sinnoh certainly is a long trip from Kanto. Of course, if it means meeting new Pokemon, there's no distance too great for the likes of us to travel. Oh, I'll visit my old colleague, Professor Oak. Professor Oak, let me introduce you to my young assistant. Thanks for his filled every page of the Sinnoh Pokedex for me. I'm very glad to meet you, as you've heard, my name is Oak. See, I have an errand for the, the run for Professor Rowan on my visitor he visit here. He's asked me to bring the data for the National Pokedex. Since you're here, let me upgrade your Pokedex with National Mode. After all, there are many kinds of Pokemon in this world of ours. Get the upgrade. I'm afraid it won't be easy to complete the National Pokedex. In fact, it may be impossible without owning several other Pokemon games in the franchise. Some of them simply just don't exist in this game. Manus Park has a, special, has a special system that attracts every imaginable kind of Pokemon from every region. Oh! Well, scratch that last bit I just said. If if it's actually all of them, that's pretty handy. Now, Dad, I have a gift here as, as your reward for completing the Sinnoh Pokedex. You get the Poker Radar. The Poker Radar is this generation's version of Shiny Hunt. Poker Radar lets you chain Pokemon in the grass. It, the patches will shake. And if you chain up to 40 of them with the same Pokemon, you have significantly increased odds of a Shiny. We could realistically... Shiny Hunter Badoof. Oh. Hello. Hi there, it's been a while. When I heard you defeated the Elite Four and entered the Hall of Fame, I rushed straight here to congratulate you. I mean it, great job. All the other gym leaders are really happy for you too. But you know, we gym leaders aren't going to take this lying down. Losing to you was rough on us all, yet we still have a pride to send us eight gym leaders. Now we're all determined to beat you this time. So if you don't mind, because you give us all another chance with a Pokemon battle. Oh shit, there's a round two! Yeah, th this did exist in Platinum, but um, how it existed in Platinum was you went to a resort house and like a few of them showed up um, at the villa and you could battle them, I believe. That's actually different. You have to go back to the gyms. There are other changes around the region that happen uh, because of getting the National Pokedex. For one, a, a significant portion of the map is now unlocked. 
there's a new island that we can go to from the boat in Snow Point. There's that bit of the route past Victory Road. We can access that too. Uh, but there's actually several event Pokemon. Hiya, were you intrigued by the rumors going around too? You know, people have been talking about the ghost Pokemon of the old chateau. I've been hearing rumors about Sinister Shadows too. I should check it out myself, but going in there is... Well, you know, being that I'm a gym leader, I'm always busy. Since I'm busy, I can't go in. It's not because I'm scared. So good luck with your investigation. Just runs away. Inside the TV, there appears to be a Pokemon. The Pokemon looks like it could come out. Would you like to thump the TV? Yes. This is how you encounter Rotom. This is the only time he's treated as like a legendary Pokemon in the games too. He has special music and everything. Do I need to weaken it? It's only level 15. I thought, oh, we got a crit. Damn. <laughs> okay, I guess it's low. There we go. Didn't take long. Yeah, it's kind of mad. Like, this was like treated as a legendary Pokemon back in the day. Now it's so common. Oh, something is on the ground. Oh, shit! They brought it back! This is a platinum thing! They maintained it! You used the secret key! I remember it! It's the entrance to a secret room. And this is where you change Rotom's forms with the original appliances. This was a platinum thing. They added it back. That's actually awesome. There's Rotom Easy Bake Oven, Rotom Fan, Rotom Fridge, Rotom Wash, and Rotom Lawnmower. So when Rotom enters the appliance, it learns a unique move. And this one's Overheat, so you can just pick up all of them so Rotom can change its form. See, here it is now. Electric fire. I'm happy about that. The fact that that's even kept, like, still secret there is kind of nice. Ah, Dad, this is it. This is Romanus Park. It places a special connection with regions around the world, such as Kento and Hoenn. But none of the other ones. Unova? Never heard of it. Oh, God, yeah, they're gonna be related to something. Discovery Slate. Th those are Game Boy Advance cartridges, yeah. So they're full on, like, acknowledging that. Okay, we gotta check this out then. Let's see what this is. Welcome to Romanus Park. This place is a tourist attraction that's famous for the Romanus Roses blooming all over. Also, where top-notch trainers gather from many different regions. You might say Romanus Roses attract those who are strong. That's what I call flower power. Just the cave here. Okay, that wasn't there in the original. <laughs> Discovery room. It's the Reggies. That's the Americans. There's an enigmatic pedestal. You may be able to use a slate on it. Oh, God. Okay, so I gotta go into the underground. So that was a Discovery one, was it? I see what's going on here. Soul Room. Oh, we're gonna have to get a lot of these. Oh, so many of these. I just finished catching most of these guys as well in like Sword and Shield. I still have someone to catch there. We're gonna get a whole set of legendaries. My god. Okay, so what was there? It was there was the Reggie Trio. We actually do need them for one of the in-game platinum events. There was the Lahis, there was Rayquaza, there was Groudon, Groudon Kyogre, there was a Ho-Ho, and there was the Beasts. That's pretty good. We got a lot to catch there. And there's trouble afoot in Sailor Eldritch's house. The little boy is thrashing about in sleep. He appears to be in torment. He is muttering something. Dar, Dark is watching me. I never thought our boy would fall into this endless nightmare. It happened in the past in Canalife. There were people who never woke up from their nightmares. You are bringing it on yourself. Your family name is Eldritch. I'll be honest with you. I've lost my love of Salem since my son fell into that horrid nightmare. I need the Lunar Fetter from Full Moon Island to awaken him. You go to Full Moon Island for me. If not for me, then for my son. What the fuck are the doctors doing? Yeah, they're just not there. <laughs> Pokemon Center only provides free health care for Pokemon. Boy falls ill. You're on your own. And in here we have... Cresselia. Pokemon flew off somewhere. There's something sparkling where the Pokemon once was. Found a Lunar Fetter. So on the map, we're all the way up here. There's a full moon island. There's also a new moon island. But we can't currently access that by legitimate means. Your Lunar Fetter began to glow. Boy's sleeping face becoming troubled and serene. 
The little boy woke up. Eyes are just wide open now. Oh, my son, I don't know what to say. Thank you, we'll never forget you. When you're back to Norway makes me feel great. You gave my spirit as a sailor. Come sail with me later. He's just gonna abandon his son now. Cresselia is now Roman Sinnoh. People told me these were impossible to find. I found two of the large ones and six small ones. Use a discovery slate. The discovery slate fit perfectly. The pedestal started shining. Okay, he's just here. Right. It's a bit unceremonious, like... <laughs> Hello. Jackie. Oh, there's new music for this. Alright, stun spore. Let's get him. It's level 70. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's got superpower as well. Come on, Jeff. Yeah, you're not catching it. It says X420 blaze it scrub what mate. Okay, just for that, we're gonna do it in a Pokeball now. Spite will power us. Jeff is just dodging like a pro as well. Oh my god. <laughs> like he's dodging everything. Use the Ultra Ball, I'm in so much pain. I have like 60 Premier Balls as well, so don't worry man, I'll use them too. I think it's starting to run out of power. A lot of its moves do not have a lot of power. Like Zap Count I think only has five. It's using struggle! <laughs> That's okay, we'll just catch it again. Use a single quick ball. <laughs> Alright, here. Just the one. Go! Oh, you fucking kidding me? <laughs> It's that easy! Okay, I mean, do I just try chuck a quick ball at it again? <laughs> Here we go. Oh no, okay, right. I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, we'll try one. Timer. Pretty good. I'll give the legendary despair. No, this is fine. I'm not despairing. This is power for the course catching legendaries. We got Rejoice in the quick ball. Like, I'm not complaining. They take time to hunt, but that's part of it. Critical. There we go. One more slate. We got one more of the Reggies to go. Reggie Rock. Quick balls are too good, like that's scarily close each time. That was a crit! Oh Jesus, Lattice, don't do that. Come on. There we go. Reggie Trio's been cut. Oh, we get a little cutscene. The slot's just filled now. Ooh! Johto Slate, or the Soul Slate. Uh, we can get one more of these. Soul Slate fit perfectly. It's a Lachios. Okay, Stun Sport. Oh, that's scary. Uh-oh. Another ball. There we go! We're getting very lucky catching these. So, new Reggie event. This was in the base game too. In original Diamond and Pearl, this was actually really hard to do because you had to have, like, the older Gen 3 games. Or you simply could not access this Pokemon. Only the chosen man to the Snowpoint Temple. I'm sorry, but you'll have to leave. Okay, you can let that person in. Cynthia sent word to me. You're working on a Pokedex, aren't you? There'll be many rare, wild, rare Pokemon in the temple. Enjoy your exploring. Here he is! This is a big old boy. It's a statue of a Pokemon. It seems to exude power. You read the engraved writing. A body of rock, a body of ice, a body of steel. When gather the three Pokemon, the king shall appear. The fun fact, in Platinum with the events, how this worked is the Regigigas you encountered was level 1. Uh, because there was an event in the game where if you had an event Regigigas, you got to catch the Regi Trio. It's moving. Zut zut.
Reggie Gigas appeared. A slow start. One of the worst abilities in the history of the Pokemon franchise. But it is quite powerful once that ability wears off. As it's gonna start just murdering shit. <laughs> we do have the Reggie to kind of protect us here though, as well. Like, we can even switch into, like, Registeel here a while. Like, Fodder, you must calm down. Why are you so angry today, Papa? There we go. Hey, Regigigas' data will be added to the Pokedex. The Jura legend that states this Pokemon toad continents with ropes. Uh, I think Cresselia is next. I run into the grass. Oh, it's not here. Oh no, it is! It just doesn't play the music, right? <laughs> so we won't really know if it's it until it just appears. Because it doesn't actually have legendary encounter music, I, which is a bit weird. Even Rotom gets the legendary music. Yeah, so that's gonna heal up the full. That's mean for a Roman legendary. <laughs> I kinda like that in a way though. Come on. Come on. There we go. It's a good feeling when you get them too, because you do have to put in a little bit of work. Even then, like, if, if you look at it relative like most games and like, God, please, stop this. If you look at it relative to most games and like the things you have to do sometimes, like, it's really not that bad. Like, if people find that tedious, like, that, t that took 20 minutes. That's not, that, that's not long at all, really. Don't tell them about MMOs. Oh, like, don't get me started there. You guys want to get a Mechaneer's Chopper in, like, World of Warcraft? You want the 15,000 gold you need to buy the parts? Oh, also, look at the map here. You might notice there's a huge bit just sticking out here all of a sudden. The Fort Lake of Sinnoh that was kept a secret. Spring Pass. Creepy music starts playing when you go along it. I always found that even this bit kind of creepy. You kind of just stand over the lake. Unsettling. Past three pillars to the sleeping before 30 is surpassed. Okay, now there was a logic for these. I'm gonna see if I can remember it. You gotta do it in 30 rooms. Okay, we're on the right track. One and four. Oh, pillar one, turn four. Yeah. So I was letting you track your progress. There's a way to work it out with like these rocks in here. Oh, we got the second one real quick. Oh! Whoa, we're at the end. Hey there, how you doing? God, he's tiny. <laughs> I'm almost as tall as him. Okay, here we go. Giratina. This might be a stronger legendary than some of the other ones we faced. This is the mascot of Pokemon Platinum, and it stands toe to toe with Dialga and Palkia. What, why did it just hurt itself? It's got pain split. Giratina vanished. Go, Pokeball! That moves a lot cooler in the DS games. Because it kind of just like cuts out instantly. Something more menacing about it. You're doing great, Lettuce. We need to keep you on low health just because of pain split right now. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Another one caught. Altered form Giratina. Pokemon is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours. It appears in an ancient cemetery. This is that where life sparkles, that where life is faded. A place where two worlds overlap. Uh, now it's time for some of the new areas. Uh, we're gonna go to Route 224. I'm Marley, a newer. I see, Dad, will you help me, please? I want to get through this tunnel. Will you let me go with you? I'm just gonna switch into Cornelia, because we can just, like, EQ everything. Could use Jeff as well and just surf it up. Yeah, let's get him. Oh, God, love her, she's got an Arcanine. Oh, I'm so sorry, Marley. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm glad we have a teammate to help us through this part of the game. It's just so much more efficient, Marley. No, it's using help in hand. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How can I just like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Marnie, how did you get this far in the cave? So sorry. 
dog kill count a lot. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's a good thing using earthquake in these caves doesn't collapse them. Yeah, it actually is. <laughs> oh no, the trainer's been hit by a rock. Go Pikachu, use your ball of lightning. Pikachu has been crushed by a boulder. If the cave collapses, it means even more <laughs> XP. You've eliminated an entire ecosystem in this cave. Level up. Wow, you got like six levels in one go there. It was like an entire family of Zubat. They're all dead now. And which XP does a human get? Oh, that's a cursed Pokemon question, isn't it? Stone tablet ahead. I want to see the Pokemon that visits it. That's that's all. I appreciate you escort you're escorting me, at least a little. See you later, Marley. Route 224. We're out the other side of the Pokemon League. Immortality looks like a fun idea now. It's probably just for the best that it's very illegal to just attack people with your Pokemon. It does happen in the anime though sometimes. It's also the banned episode with the bazooka. There's some weird Pokemon banned episodes. There, there, there's like a few where like just a gun is pointed at Ash. I remember seeing one of them. It's like Lake of Rage or something. And like one of the other characters just pulls out like a shotgun and points it at his face. There's also the Porygon one that just gives you a seizure because it, like Pikachu does a really mean attack. That one's kind of funny because Porygon gets like a really bad rep in the anime and doesn't really appear because of that episode. But it was Pikachu who did the attack for Porygon. Ban Pikachu 2021. It's like for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, we've rectified a mistake with the franchise. Pikachu will no longer be used as our mascot. And by right of passage, it goes to Porygon. Have fun. All the time, they just edit out the guns in some countries, so they're just holding their hands around nothing. Oh, they do that in Yu-Gi-Oh all the time. Like, uh, like the first season of like Yu-Gi-Oh, like Duelist Kingdom. There's, there's like straight up like these guards that just keep pointing their fingers at Kaiba. They're supposed to be holding handguns. <laughs> like the unmarked surface is polished like a mirror. So this is the future site of the Shaman event. Uh, you will receive Professor Oak's letter, and you'll be asked to come back here. And what this does, it unlocks the longest route in any Pokemon game. That goes all the way up here. The very top of the map. That's what it was in Diamond and Pearl, at least. Uh, next up, we have the big boy. That is the Battle Island. What is it? You want to sail to the Battle Zone? New boat. You get to sail away. Oh, hey, Dad. What took you so long? Oh, yeah, he was waiting for us. Find you a hundred million. Sorry, I had to catch every legendary Pokemon in Sinnoh. Listen up, I'm going to become the greatest trainer ever. That's why I'm here, to toughen up myself and my Pokemon. Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing that. Greatest trainer ever. That's going to be really tough because you're talking about me. Groover, I'm going to the volcano right now. You look puzzled. You really don't know anything, do you? All right, I'll tell you this. This is the battle zone, okay? At its far end is the volcano. Deep inside that volcano is supposed to be a treasure. So, battle tower, I think, I believe, is back in this one. It is not the battle frontier. Uh, there's one cool reason to do the battle tower other than just getting the points. Uh, there is actually like a unique kind of boss trainer in there. Um, you actually get to fight Lad's dad if you get far enough in the tower. Oh, they got a bit of a weird perspective here. Oh yeah, that's right, you have the buildings here. What the? Oh, he's here! Yeah, this is him! Oops, sorry about that, I was in a rush. Oh, wait a second, aren't you... Your dad! From Twin Leaf Town. Wow, that brings back memories. If you're here, you can't be far behind. This should be fun. See you. Oh, hey, Dad, you came to the Battle Tower too, huh? He sure did. I am curious if they will have new items here, not from Diamond and Pearl. Yes, they do. Okay. Ability patch is back. Ability capsule, bottle caps. Yep, so this is like mechanic changes from later generations. You can buy lucky eggs. That's a new one. That's that's very good for grinding. They have the mints. Yep, this is the big one. So with the mints, you can actually change your Pokemon's nature. This is like one of the final barriers um, to like getting into competitive Pokemon battling. Is the fact that you can get these now. You don't need to worry about breeding like the perfect Pokemon. I see you've been the Elite Four. Then you, you can now have your level 100 Pokemon undergo hyper training. So this is the bottle cap guy. If you give him a bottle cap. Uh, a, si a silver one will give you a perfect 31 stat IV in one stat. A gold bottle cap will give you 31 IVs in every stat. That's as strong as a Pokemon can possibly be. That's so that's cool that they have some of the more competitive changes then. We live in a place called Hoenn. There's a place like this back there too. 
There was another place like this back in Hoenn, except it was more than just a tower. There's some new root music as we go, too. We'll hear it in a moment once I finish getting these berries. Oh, that's a jazzy rendition of it, too. And it's gone. <laughs> a survival area. It is a little more than this house. I think we've entered a weird way here. It's not just this guy in his hut. God, that's disappointing. Music is really a beat for that ominous name. <laughs> yeah, it is actually, isn't it? Like, what a weird name for it. Welcome to the survival area. Try and survive here. God wants to leave. <laughs> that is a volcano ahead of us called Stark Mountain. The blowhard buck guy is on his way there as well. Gotta find the volcano's treasure before that guy does. If I could do that, a 21 win streak at the battle tower would be possible. We get some cool, unique music. And we also have one of the weirdest starts to any, like, cave or dungeon in the series here. Uh, you just gotta get this boulder down the stairs. I don't know why they maintain that. Hey, Dad, right? Your buddy challenged you to a battle earlier. I owned the little dude. Made sure he was taught a lesson. I don't know if I can beat him again next time. Seriously, you're bound to run into skilled trainers wherever you go. And anyway, I found out about this place, but the Pokemon here are tough. What do you say we team up and go together? Ah, lad got owned. Get pwned, noob. Oh, I'm gonna... Okay, let's see uh, if Buck has something that can survive an earthquake. He's got a Claydol! That is Levitate! Buck's the best partner. Alright, so you can take a moment to reflect on the fact that this clown following you is trying to reach the mountain of whatever, level 58 Claydol and nothing else. <laughs> Not the best. Yeah, he could probably use some additional Pokemon in this team. <laughs> Maintenance tell me that the Volcano's treasure is just ahead of us. Might be the toughest there is, besides me. See you around, Dad. Can we just go in with him? Check this out, Dad. This is the Magma Stone, the treasure of Stark Mountain. I found it, that makes me the greatest trainer out of everyone. Thanks, you all helped it happen. Oof. Oh, that was wicked. The volcano's in shock from that. Might be so shocked it'll erupt. That can't happen. See you, Dad. Say hi to that zippity trainer, buddy. He's just gonna leave. Oh, the volcano might erupt. Oh, ho! That's so cool. Bye. To be fair, the volcano's about to erupt. I'm going to leave as a reasonable decision. Yeah, but like, if he caused it, not so much, maybe, you know? Like, ah, here, you can't just be doing that. Like, kicked the beehive and ran off. There they are. Got your gramps, I'll put the magma stone back. That magma stone was keeping the Pokemon of the volcano under control. All right, though, I can go put it back myself. Unfortunately, when you go all the way here, you now have to walk back to the volcano. It's a good stroll. Gets the legs, legs moving, the blood pumping. There she is. Yeah, this is a real cool Pokemon. I love this one. Like, Fire Steel is such a cool type combination, too. Level 70. My god. Stun Spore. Okay, Surf. Oh! <laughs> Calculate it. Jefferson, bro. <laughs> like, Jefferson, you gotta calm down. Can't hit that hard. Use a dive ball. I'll try catch it with the dive ball. Yeah. I have five of them. I'll give it a go. Just because it will look kind of funny. He's like heat ran and it's like water ball. Give it a go. We're getting two on it. Okay, last dive ball. Instant. Timer is actually very good for this one. The color scheme kind of matches up. I'll switch to those in a little bit. Oh, that's a crit. Dusk it is. <laughs> We're getting very lucky with some of these catches. And if we check the Pokedex now. National. Manaphy. Cresselia. Giratina. Regigigas. Heatran. Not quite Palkia. But Dialga. Azelf. Mesprit. Uxie. Rotom. Every base game legendary has been acquired. We can do a slight bit of digging for the mystery shards. So I found a few of these when I was digging before. Basically they're kind of like a purple looking one. Oh, that's a rare shard. You get three of those, that's one of the plates. That's another one. We got them all. We are just on a roll. 
We're doing well. Where are ya? <laughs> Some people just get very frustrated. <laughs> like, what's going on on their end? Well, the archaeological dig site wasn't... Progress was too slow. Just a trial and a hammer. So we brought a jackhammer. How's it going, man? Great to have you. <laughs> Guys. We got one. That's a large one. That's another legendary right there. Five of them and one of them. If I get one more small one, that's three. <laughs> okay, thanks. I really like the idea of a bunch of people just huddled together, beaten on a wall with a hammer together. Like, it's even better when you think about why we're doing it. It's like, there's precious stones in here. And we're all just smashing the wall. Distortion slate. That's a new one. That wasn't here before. Distortion room, distortion zone. Okay, I'm buying this. I need to know what that does. Oh, okay, we're gonna do distortion last. Let's do Let's get the other ones in. Here we go. Oh, please survive this. Thank you. Elon Wish. Oh, God. Thank God that didn't work. That actually kills itself. I guess it's because it's like a wild Pokemon. I can't use it. Premier Ball. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. that was the best one. All day. No, I, I don't press anything. I just wait and see. No influence. Because it works. Aw, oh, they're looking at each other. Okay, Johto Slate. I love how it's like a Game Boy Color cartridge for the Johto Slate. This can't be paralyzed, can it? It's electric type. We gotta catch it without status. You know, this is one where if I get it with the quick ball, it's not the worst. Here we go! <laughs> not today. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Quick attack on Staraptor with half. I think that should be fine. Getting the ball doggo slash cat. <laughs> it is debatable if they're like cats or dogs, isn't it? I think beasts is what they are generally referred to. I've just always called them dogs. Oh, hey, we got it. <laughs> Distortion is Giratina, but we already fucking caught Giratina. Oh, shit. Distortion world is back. Let's use it. Distortion slate fit perfectly. Pedestal started shining. Oh. Uh, well, let's, let's do our best. We, we get two? This is like a shadow form. Go, like, cool, Master Ball! Oh fuck, it's level 100. <laughs> Okay, Destiny Bond, right, let's go. Inflict Paralysis all the same, speed doesn't matter anymore now. It's level 100, use moves without much care. Razzle Dazzle. Oh god, most of this is just gonna one-shot kill. You're fine, Lettuce. You've served most of your job. Keep going. Paralysis. I was using Destiny Bond again. Oh shit, if it kills me with Destiny Bond, it kills itself, doesn't it? I should probably switch. This is getting kind of risky. Alright, I know a guy. Go on, God! <laughs> oh God! He's in trouble! We can weaken him a little bit more. Crunch unboost, it will not kill. Oh, come on, God. God's dead. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. You surf. Okay, it's in the red. I mean, if we can get it in this. You can't throw a Pokeball. Oh, okay, it's like a Super Boss. Oh, I should have just killed it. But... All right, uh, Ice Beam. We did it. <laughs> 
I think that, well, I mean, that probably makes more sense then, because you already ha caught a Giratina earlier. <laughs> we probably could have kept God alive there. <laughs> oh, God, and it's upside down as well. Of course it is. Oh, no! I'm upside down. You found the Griseus Orb. Okay, that, that actually is quite a cute little nod and acknowledgement, even if we're missing most of the Platinum content. They did do something for Giratina's alternate form. Well, origin form, which came with platinum. Um, so the Gryceus Orb, if you give it to Giratina, it transforms. And you get that form of it. So this is the form that they release platinum with. This is like how Giratina appears on the box for platinum. Uh, and normally what you did before is you would actually go into the distortion world in platinum and you would fight like Giratina there. Uh, but how they seem to have done it here is like, because platinum is cut. They've just done a little nod to it, at least with a distortion room. Which is something. Basically loses its legs, yeah. <laughs> I see a letter Pokemon Platinum. That's been good. 